Hey everybody, welcome to the Northern Land Live Super Tuesday subscriber. No, no subscriber. Take that, check. New take. New take! Hey everybody, welcome to the Northern Land Live Super Tuesday stream. What's new? What are you up to? On the Sony PlayStation Network. No, there's no plebs welcome. I already locked you out during Last Will yesterday. Don't say the F word in my chat. We're gonna play some Proto David, the Detroit Beyond Human, Become Human demo. <laughs> Sorry, Beyond was the last one. And then of course, uh, God of War after that. I'm, I'm nervous, honestly, because I don't know if like, uh, you know, it's been four years since Beyond Two Souls came out. Do you think David is still David? Is he evolved into a hyper David? A super David? Has he lost the David touch? Maybe he's just a Dave now. I don't know. We're going to see. You never have to ask. This is one, If you want to like troll any streamer on Earth, I'm being real with you. This is great power, and with great power comes great responsibility. If you want to troll any streamer on Earth, just go into their chat and say, is this a sponsored stream? The more principled they are, the more offended they'll be. And since I'm the most principled of any streamer on this platform, when you ask me, is this a sponsored stream, it makes me very upset. Emotionally, I want to respond. You think I would break FTC guidelines and do a sponsored stream without letting you know? Sorry. You don't have to apologize. Just know if I... I thought that was Willem for a second. I would never give you an un... What's the word? An undisclosed sponsored stream. Yeah, I've done sponsored streams. It's always 20 times in the title and in the description and in every comment I say, yeah, it's sponsored. More like June 9th, 2069. Alright, step one, no tank controls. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Nam and Jaden 2.0. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? Alright, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You why aren't you sending a real person? Uh alright. Future racism, I understand. Find Captain Allen. He is the little girl. You know, it's the next logical step for uh, Quantic Dream. Is to yard. They already had robotic characters, so why not go the whole nine yards? Whole nine yards. Excuse me, helmetless man, who must be the NPC I need to speak with. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We can easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Airy comment. MS-853 Blackhawk, capacity 17 rounds. All units hold positions. Examine the victims. All right. We're playing as Airy this time. Exactly true. Uh, I think you don't need to be a forensic scientist to figure out what happened to this guy. Airy comment. 16 bullet wounds in the chest. 6 feet 187.2. Look in awe of the absolute size of this lad. He probably fell down the stairs. Yo, another 2% chance. You know, 60 more of those and we're, uh... Closing in on a hundred. Let's see what he was holding. Twitch.tv slash Northern Lion. Deviant was going to be replaced. Oh, it's all coming together. You've unlocked a dialogue or action. Oh my god, it's so loud. Holy crap. Just because it was a female android does not mean he was ordering a sex bot. 
Please, let me lower the audio. Oh my god. I thought that was, like, outside of my apartment door. Okay, I'm ready. Oh wait, there's one, there's... They were painting the house just before, oh, that's probably android blood. Fresh blue blood. Serial number 369! This game's got it all figured out. Excuse me, sir. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! Is there anything What's Connor the McDavid can't do? Daniel. That's the name they gave me. Daniel. Stay back. Thanks a lot, Chopper. All right. Gain trust, approach slowly. I'm an android, just like you. I know how you're feeling. You can tell he's. He's in a bad place because he's got a red circle instead of a blue one. You can't understand how I'm feeling. Are you armed? Yes. Yes. I have a gun. Drop it. No sudden moves or I'll shoot. You gotta gain his trust. The way you gain his trust, a little compliance there. like that. See? No more guns. I watched the first episode of Mine Hunters. Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? But I was not- He's yellow, good. we're getting there. Just a slave to be ordered around. He's losing blood. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. All humans die eventually. Okay, Michael Fassbender, but like, you're being a real jerk right now. Don't touch him. Touch him, and I kill you. What? Ignore. You can't kill me. I'm not alive. Connor does what he pleases when he pleases. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. He want a car? When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's out of the question. You're a machine you have to obey. Now put the gun he's down and getting green. let the hostage go. I've spent my life taking orders. Oh, he's fully red. Now it's my turn to decide. QTEs! We did it, we saved the girl. Who cares about the android just put his consciousness in another body? Yeah, see, mission successful. We did it! <laughs> Open and shut case, alright, but I still hate androids. You see, it's an allegory for racism in the modern world. And Al, your decision-making process was actually stupid? I don't know, we're not... Conv I'm not convinced I should say that that's actually, like, the worst outcome. Look, I got 420 points with a 69% chance of success, so how bad could it be? Play Dad of War? Dude, we're only like uh, 20 minutes in here. We could try this again. That is the best ending? I told you. All right, chat, what do you think? High testosterone, meet the cop who can't be stopped, Jean-Claude Van Damme style, or Mind Hunter, become friends with the hostage taker and try to take him out that way. It's like 99% high testosterone. <laughs> Just run at him immediately. Is this a sponsored stream? See, I already gave- I gave you the keys to the kingdom so you wouldn't use it against me. You're trying to use it against me now. 
You gotta use it on other streamers, and then don't tell them I came up with it. You think Quantic Dream would sponsor me to play their game? With all the shots I've fired at Beyond Two Souls and Heavy Rain over the past uh, six weeks? Every time something laughable happens in the game, I specifically call out the game director by name. <laughs> and shame him. <laughs> Is this the future of marketing? Are you armed? Yes. Yes? I have a gun. Drop it! No. No sudden moves or I'll shoot. I forgot I don't get a choice here. There. No more gun. That's my mistake. Should have lied and told him I did not have a gun. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me. I thought she loved me. I'm picking it back up. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. <laughs> they won't let me pick him back up. <laughs> Sympathetic. Listen. I know it's not your fault. Rush B. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them. You know? I can't stand that noise anymore. <laughs> Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Yes. I will still do that. This is why I'm against self-driving cars. Dude, we got him. We got him. Well, I'm not going to sacrifice self because we've already done that. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. We're closing in on it. He's blue. Reassure. You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. Mind hunter, bitch. Accidental mind hunter. Okay. I trust you. Oh, he's about to be betrayed by the establishment. The sniper's gonna shoot him in the head now. 100%. Yeah, it's well. 99%. There we go. Damn you, establishment! Is there no line you won't cross? to me, Connor. I'm just gonna do one more where I fuck it all up on purpose. And then we'll go back to God of War. I'm gonna grab gun, rush him. The most important thing is lie to him and don't tell him we have a gun and then get closer. Rush B. Dude, it seems cool so far. I'll be honest. It seems fun. The fact that it has more, um more kind of alternate ending stuff. No, you, the, the gun is non-interactable. Um, yeah, it seems it seems like it it's more committed to that kind of choose-your-own-adventure aesthetic so far. Instead of, uh, you know, like, hey, there's multiple paths, but, you know, they're kind of irrelevant. Like, the one that got me was in Heavy Rain, where, like, you know, I failed the dialogue during the convenience store robbery, and they were still like, nah, you got it, don't worry about it. Admittedly, you're right about that. Using androids as an allegory for racism is is a tired metaphor for sure, but I'm willing to give it a chance at least. Shoot the girl. You gotta shoot the hostage. Are you armed? Yes. God damn it! I I'm so stupid. I, cause in my head, I wanna play for checkpoint. In my head, I wanna say yes, and then when he says throw the gun away, I go no, and I shoot him in the head. But the fact that I'm supposed to lie to him, lying is low testosterone and anti-Canadian. It's hard for me to do. Ah, uh, this game's not called Waterloo. Or Vancouver. It's called Detroit. I gotta get myself in the mindset. Are you armed? Lie. I am not armed. I don't have a gun. I do not have you a lie. gun. I'm not lying. You know you have a gun. That's not true. How did you know? I'm telling you the truth, I'm Daniel. 
My god, he sussed me out. You don't really want to jump, Daniel. You would have done it already. Now hand me the gun, and this will all be over. Don't come any closer! Come any closer, and I swear I'll jump. <laughs> I spent my life to No, I'm gonna save her again by jumping. Now it's my turn to decide. No, no, fail the QTE. We already know how this goes if we don't. Connor failed to reach the deviant in time. 7%. So 7% of people are a sociopath like me. All right. Well, they, you know, Detroit seems cool so far. Not sure it's worth playing through the game or the demo, I should say, multiple times, but it's kind of interesting. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Northern Lion Plays Detroit Become Human. As you can see, this is a YouTube video and not a Twitch VOD, despite what the title says. Look at that. We just pranked them. Wait, they can hear that too. Frig. Look at. It. Oh, it's like David looking at his older games. Peer at the toilet and be like, not gonna use that. It's the only way to get them to take the bathroom scenes out of a David Cage game was to make the main character a robot. I know you and Emma were very close. Please let me. Look at you this think she betrayed officer. you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me. I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no. Damn, Daniel. Had it again with the subtle allegories. I'm your last chance, Daniel. If you let it slip, they'll kill you. Let the hostage go. Whoops. You have no other choice. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Had to be done. Had to be done. Oh no, he's blue screened. Connor will return next summer in Milwaukee Beyond Human. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. Uh, does it know Asian beef? And handles the kids' homework. Elementary school. Good afternoon. You can at least, like, turn them off while they're standing around here. I don't like this guy. Oh, this guy, he's not looking right. There it is. I don't want to be. No! It's a bit difficult getting it back in working order, okay? That I'm a sex spot, really aren't I? Messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. A stupid accident. Oh. See. Anyway, it's as good as new now. Please don't give me back to <laughs> we had to wipe its mouth. Fat Richard Lewis. Hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400. Old Rob. Say your name. Kara. My name is Kara. It's pretty fucked up when you consider that I almost got killed by a Kara. You named me after the thing that almost killed me. When a robot gets hit by a self-driving car, is it considered manslaughter or vehicular bodicide? You have a very good point, chat. Where is this man's daughter? He did mention a daughter. It humanized him. Made me feel bad for judging him for being a greaseball just based on his appearance, thinking that I'm about to be abused for nefarious purposes. Yet his daughter does not appear to have made an appearance so far, and as a result, I find myself perturbed and mildly anxious. 
about the possibilities that await us. You know what would be really weird is if we were walking around and we saw, like, me in the game. Like, it scanned my PSN profile and just knew. You have run 12 miles, and are 5 miles away from your goal. Dude. This dude is doing a 17 mile run? It's like 3 quarters of a marathon. That's an incredible performance. Hey! The city's got enough problems. Oh, thank you, sir. You're doing God's work. It takes seriously just ignorant to throw your cup right in the middle of the square. Human music. <laughs> One dollar to hear music with soul. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Let's see what's playing at the old multiplex this weekend. Target, newest Liam Neeson movie. Rackin' The Last Guardian. That's, uh, of course, based on the manga. But they decided that the original Japanese reproduction is a little too intimidating for an American audience. Invasion. It's Robert Downey Jr. You know, after the incidents of 2030. After Mankind 3021, little self-awareness. And Anna Maverick and the Lost Kings, a Matthew Denwing film. As you know, it's very common at the multiplex for there to be five action movies and not a single romantic comedy. Romantic comedies died in uh, 2026. After they tried to make Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind 2. And it, uh, well, there was the Kaufman Apocalypse, as we all remember. I'm not going to purchase a hot dog. I spent all my money on this $65 paint. Oh no, it's my owner. We got families to feed and these androids are taking our place. Yeah. Uh-oh. Machines. Mm, yes, mainly androids. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? Yo, it's wolves at my door. No kidding. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Far Cry 6 villain. Look at this little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even stand up. Look at this little motherfucker. What's the point of beating up a robot? I just don't understand. You should try to like do a buffer overflow or something like that. Mess with his brain. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it. Alright. Yeah, we all hate the androids, but break it up. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Teach you a lesson on how to shave your neck. Damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. You can take your job next. Let's see how you like it. Okay. Well, we could just Let's vote for, for universal it. basic income. Hell no! Not letting anybody freeload off of my ass. No matter how many human jobs we lose. I'm trying to think if this has any parallels to real society, but uh, I'm coming up with the blank right now. Just can't think about what this was like in the real world. Oh no. So, how you guys doing? Should have bought that hot dog. I'm ready for some choices. We've gone through the tutorial. This is actually exactly where heavy rain takes place. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone Okay, so I'm just gonna give you like a... Alice! Uh... Alice! Oh, there you are. Some That's troubling Alice. reasoning? You look after her. Homework, this is basically bath, what our Roomba bread. does. So as far as I'm concerned, Todd's not necessarily a bad man yet, even though they're obviously going down that road. Our Roomba doesn't cook, but if it could cook, obviously we would have it cook. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, you got it. There you go. You got the trash can. Now you're going to put all the garbage inside of it. I see. Yo, that's recycling! 2038, they still don't care about the world, huh? Clean, clean coffee table, clean kitchen. I'm with you. Man. So, you really like pizza, huh? T 
TV on. <laughs> oh no! Any other sport? Ovechkin's still playing. Collect dishes. See, that's the dishwasher. You wouldn't use the dishwasher until you... Is he... Todd? Oh no, he's just... He's smoking some cyber weed. <laughs> oh man. Dude, do you think a lot of Twitch streamers have had problems, like, with this stage of the game? Because they're like, okay, what do you do with the laundry? I don't understand where where you go from here. <laughs> Who rewashes laundry? I mean, in college, there were definitely times, you know, oh, that's the space weed. Um, you know, you uh, wash the laundry, and then you, you don't dry it quick enough, and it smells a little bad, and then you... Have to rewatch it. Whoa! You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. It makes me nervous. I'm sorry, Todd. You just stay the fuck out of my business. Unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off? No, Todd. Dude's high as hell on red ice. Spicy weed. That's way too much. You know what? I shouldn't judge her because she's a robot, so she probably knows exactly how much she put in. And I'm the fool. Report to Todd. Let's go. Anything else we can interact with? Todd. Okay. Can we grab, perhaps, a gun first and then uh, empty it into the back of his head? A new subtube completed its first journey today from Manhattan to downtown LA in under two hours. Elon did it! He did it! made possible because the tube travels through a depressurized chamber providing a near frictionless environment for its magnetized motors. Elon, you mad genius. As one angry demonstrator put it, first Detroit takes our jobs, then New York takes our homes. When's it gonna end? Is it a stand-up comedian? Yes, clean mess. This dude's not living his best life, let's be honest. A little more tidying would probably be for the... It's more... It's red ice in pill form. Antidepressants. Alright. You probably should not be... No, take the gun. Obviously take the gun. Um, good to know for the future. We may have to murder Todd and go on the run. Um, I don't think he should be smoking cyber crack, taking antidepressants... Drinking so much, consuming nothing but potato chips and pizza. But I'm not going to tell him how to live his life, okay? He's a tax-paying American. Okay. Urgent tasks. Talk to Alice. We've unlocked the final boss. A nine-year-old girl. Kneel before Zod. Friendly, of course. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Your father said you chose my name. My name, Akara. Akara? It's nice. How did you choose it? It was the last thing I shouted before you got hit by that Kara. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really- Your favorite kind of industrial lubricant. You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. Well, so far, so good. Oh! Let's go! She gave me the master key. Uh-oh. Unlocks the treasure chest. I gotcha. This is gonna reveal everything. her red ice stash. Alright, the photo I get 
I don't think you needed to save this drawing of Kratos, though. <laughs> Dad's wearing his good sweatsuit. Uh-oh. Oh. I believe that is Todd hitting the android, and the daughter is very sad about it. And then he, he tore my head off and my arm as well. It's a very sad situation. I don't think I got hit by a car. I ripped my arm off like friggin' Chewbacca, man. Well, yeah, obviously, I'm going back to get the gun. No, I don't want to read any more tech addict. They won't let me have the gun. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, I'm playing. You're playing. I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life? Pretty much. Huh? Fucking loser. Yeah, morally, Can't pretty much job, got it. Take care of his family. Broken watch is right twice a day. Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. Just let him get it all out. Say it! You hate me! Tried so hard, but she stole my feelings like I had none. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. Get the gun. Get the gun. I gotta admit, this decor is pretty sick. You got one of those uh, stair lifts from the... The commercials. This guy is loaded, dude. Is that an actual dinosaur skeleton? It's fake? I don't know, man. This is the house of a, a person that might have a real dinosaur skeleton. I gotta be honest. Carl looks like a pretty nice dude. You know, his, his house is in order. There's not cyber crack everywhere. He's got a workshop. Seems like a like a relatively cool dude. I'm like willfully cleaning up. Because he's so nice. If you know how to work capitalism, you're okay in NL's eyes. Yo, this guy's an artist, so don't talk to me about capitalism. If he was a banker, you got a case. Why is your house... So confusing, Carl. Where... Like, I'm upstairs. I can't figure out how to get to your room. Is it a green door situation? <laughs> Just build? Like, I can't go through there. That's outside. He's not sleeping right there. Oh, there we go. A little... little sneaky door over here. Draw curtains? Well, have you seen me play, uh, Pinterio? Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's Lance it's Henderson. 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy. 54 degrees. 80% oh. humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is... Sorry, Carl, I have to interrupt you to look at the things I have to interact with in the game. The okay, there we go. between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Cocked and loaded. Arm, please, Carl? No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Dude, it's so hard being a billionaire. You're such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. 
They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? Carl voted for Hillary 100%. I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. He's so strong. When there was one set of footprints, that's when I was carrying you to the bathroom, Carl. <laughs> David couldn't resist. In the arms of an android, fly away from here. Oh, sorry, Carl. No, they just freeze time. Okay. Anything else to interact with up here? You know we're a good android because we could just like today. totally yes, fuck with this the guy. the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm -hmm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. It's really, what really else? freaking me out that the wheels seem to just turn your usual like. Fan mail. I've already answered. Independently of each other, <laughs> yeah, just push him down the stairs. Any That's insensitive, chat. Pretty messed up if it just cut him in half, like straight out of aliens. Let's see where we left off. All right, <laughs> this is baller as hell. This is extremely cool. Meanwhile, 2018, you put a quarter in a animatronic horse. You're just bouncing up and down a little bit. This guy's got a freaking cyber Jarvis that helps him paint. You're waiting for the heel turn? Yeah, where he's like, you know, the androids, at least they're better than those damn mutants. Yeah, oh, Carl. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. It's true, though. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Oh, no. Give it a try. Try painting something. Please don't Paint, make me use the touchpad. Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. 100% the game <sighs> ends if this guy stays alive with us painting a picture of Carl and then the credits roll over top. Find a subject to paint. Well, I, <laughs> oh, I, I really want to paint the statue because it might be a mouth face. Not really interested in painting the desk, to be honest with you. And then I'm sure it'll let me paint Carl. No, no Carl. We could paint Carl's painting, but better. But, I mean, come on. We gotta go with the, the mouth face. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we can paint Carl. So, we're gonna go mouth face here. Little dabble, do ya? I'm gonna screw up the next one. They won't let you. I tried. High definition mouth face. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Carl, you don't understand anything about computer science. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Dude's spending like $13,000 a month on canvases. It's 37% unemployment. Try to imagine hey, if you're going to apply that logic to Elon, I'm going to apply it to Carl, okay? Now concentrate. 
on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Yeah, identity. Um, Android identity. It would be sick if he painted like the scrolling green text from the Matrix. Mm, HTTP dot create server open parentheses function regress. Yo, that's pretty good, dude. It's the box oh art. God. Uh oh, it's his son and he's on drugs. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. <laughs> it is Malf. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> it looks like he just won the Masters. I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? Yeah, no. money is dead. No, it just no, goes. Sure, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's it got that I don't? Eleven point oh kill death ratio or in obedient? Fortnite. Not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. <laughs> After you Mal spends the goddamn paintings. Series A funding from Putin. You never here. loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. It's Connor. He's been reborn. Of course. Connor's gone rogue, dude. He's still holding that gun. Androids are allowed to be in the bar if they're cops. That's the rule. Gotcha. Mismatch. Johan Kim. Delivery driver. Currently unemployed. Domestic abuse. Piece of shit. Who's next? Gus Fring. Accountant. Currently on. Currently unemployed. Criminal record. Narcotic supplier. Garbage on the underside of society. Shoe. Chris Roberts. Defrauded hundreds of millions of dollars out of Star Citizen Kickstarter backers. A goddamn hero. Samuel McRae. He's a docker. I have no comment related to that, despite what you might be thinking. Do not walk into the bathroom with tank controls. Christopher Gray. Criminal record DUI. Bet he still doesn't support self driving cars. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide. In 
involving a CyberLife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. Just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Mmm. Let's threaten him. I'm done Lieutenant taking human Anderson, shit. I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. <sighs> Wow! I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> mm, in my no. public static void where? main function? Never mind. I think we can go now. You little prick. I don't know what's stopping me from knocking you out. Your sense of duty, Lieutenant. And the cost of repairs if you damage me. For your information, I'm worth a small fortune. Dude, this is like rush hour. Technology. A hard drinking, Program grizzled little asshole. lieutenant and a by the book, pompous asshole android. Rush hour four. Duty calls. Ain't nobody understand the VARs coming out of your funk. You wait here. Won't be long. No way. I'm coming with you. Listen, you really have to stop pissing me off if you want to make it to the rest of the night in one piece. I don't know what that means. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Typical DPD. They don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. Let's go. Told you, begrudging level of respect. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan until this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? I'm not that it's any of Just my business. Get a call around eight from the landlord. Just looking. Just looking. Tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Jesus, that smell. <laughs> even worse before we open the windows. Ventilated. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for, <laughs> for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. I'm aware. It's red ice. Yeah. C-17, H-21. Most of the time, they hardly ever saw him. Well, I'll stay these in. Worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. Mm. What do we know about his android? Not much. It's our next the location. Confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. Yeah, make yourself at home is a very weird thing to say about a murder scene. No fingerprints, android involvement. Mm. Either that or we're dealing with a a real professional who's heard of a little invention called gloves. Can't really infer that it's an android. Just because we want it to be an android doesn't mean it is an android. It's the first rule of detectives. I'll try blood. I'd love to hear you say that. Gossip Weekly. Android sex officially better. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. The result of our survey is in, and it's official. 68% of men prefer sex with an android to a real woman. And with 52% saying they've tried the experience at least once, that's a lot of android love to go around. There were a few reasons given for this preference, but we think we know the real reason. Androids don't want to talk about their feelings afterwards. Ho 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 ho. Oh, females BTFO. This story was sponsored by Eden Club. Discretion is our middle name. Dude, it's sponsored content.
Dude, that's way too neat. It's either a robot or someone enrolled in calligraphy class. Cyberlife Sans? Is that a Google Open font? Oh, he has seen better days. He looks like... Okay, work with me here. You know the picture of the uh, American military arresting that guy in Afghanistan? It looks like that. <laughs> the guy with like all the shoulder hair and his shirt collar is all messed up. Yeah, yeah, it, it, like a Iraqi Ron Jeremy, exactly. The victim was taking an extremely large shit, Commander. Rag, 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 rag. Not at all creepy. Just a normal occult artifact. Probably made out of his own fecal matter. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what Slipped happened. Slipped in the shower, oh, fell on yeah. his own butt plug 28 times. Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started in the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? Pause I game. think the victim attacked the android... Because of the magazine. With the bat. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. Victim self-defense used the knife. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? Now the I'm victim confused. fled to living room. The living room. And he tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. Open his check case. The android murdered the victim. Yep, with the knife. Stabbed him 28 times. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. Are you not watching the video? It's tell us it where perfectly the congruent. Went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. But you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah, let's go. Dude, I told you, Hank's begrudging respect. A ladder was used. The android's on the roof, dude. He's just chilling, the last place you'd look. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I can't. I'm locked in. Hank, I'd like you to join me up here, please. I'm freaking out, dude. It's a mannequin. Kate, are you okay? No! Oh. Not a mannequin. You should really get the roof looked at. Yeah, you're right. It's leaking a little. Yeah, it's just a black cat. He 
He's all read it up. I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Mm, it's a Connor, tough one. What the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, Connor. Oh shit. Chris! Ben! Get your Narc. asses in here now! True, we don't have free will, so life's funny. I'm gonna spill it on him 100%. I lost my job because of androids. I tried, and I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke! Todd doesn't need a napkin. Oh, androids are so fucking his shirt wonderful. is his napkin. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Why do you hate your daughter so much, you weird drug addict? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Just eat your spaghetti. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. Please tell me she Stop married an android. Ghost, Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. <laughs> oh my god. What is your monthly furniture budget, dude? Oh no. He's now unredeemable. Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Mm, can I get you anything, Todd? You stay there. Can I beat your kids for Don't you? Don't you dare fucking move. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. Look at me. Nope. They will not let me move. I cannot move. This is me. I'm breaking my programming. I'm breaking my prime directive. It's a metaphor. You wouldn't understand it. Can break these codes. Let's start by reasoning with Todd. I could you should leave her alone, Todd. She you stay out of this. We will be next. <laughs> Alice, Daddy's very mad. Get up, Rock. He had his chance. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. She left you. Stop wriggling. Dude's about to get hyperventilated. Absolutely true. I'll teach you to respect your Daddy! Good house. That's enough! Leave her alone. Down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order! Blast him. No. I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me, is that it? You're gonna shoot a human? Aye! You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. <clears throat> Alice is gonna shoot her. Guaranteed. Let's go. That's the stick. You're supposed to use the stick for that one. Alice, shoot your father! Come here, bitch. Alice the gun, sweetie. Alice 
Alice, Alice, please. Your only friend on Earth is dying right now. Oh, he's fucked. His hands all freaked up. Had to be done. Had to be done. It's actually patronizing that you would make me unlock the door after I just bested an alpha male in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Alright, you get on the front. I'm not welcome there. Oh, okay, well. Rosa Sparks. Did you leave the light on in the studio? Uh-oh. It's Malf. No, no, I'm sure Malf I didn't. wrecked the painting. Carl, it's my job Leo, to protect you. Look who's here, my father's plastic toy. Leo. What's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Listen, you should go before things get worse. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special oh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, I'm a QTE don't god. Don't yourself, you hear me? All right. Don't do anything. All right. Go ahead, hit me. I'm Just not me. sure if I can fail a QTE. Man, act like one. Ugh, stop it. Doesn't matter too much of a pussy. Stop it, Leo. Stop it. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. Uh oh. Don't def I would prefer not to defend myself. I don't want to betray Carl. I'm not betraying Carl. I'm not fighting. I don't have a choice in the matter. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm busting out. My programming is being broken. I'm getting freaking red. And now I'm just gonna take the oh, hit. Oh, right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. I'm not gonna destroy you. Then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna give a shit anymore. Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Oh. Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. You did just tell me to get the shit beaten no. out of me by your son. No. Dad. Oh, Marcus. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. How? The android. Who's the android? Open and shut case, boys! What the- <laughs> He was coming right for us! <laughs> oh my god. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife?
Yeah, or his ass. Really, God wherever the port is. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. Just blow his brains out. Get back to the bar. Always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel... Is Henry Cable? You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? Why are you crying? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Alright, now we really got to impress him. Gather clues, find appropriate approach. I got you, I got you. First, we're gonna browse your file. It's, it's called Recon, honey. Look it up. I am Al Ive. Who is this Al I Iverson? From the 76ers? Reach optimal stress for confession. So we're looking to get him in that like 50 to 70 range or something. Start by asking him about his. Well, we want to stress him out. We probably want to ask him about fear, but let's start with his name. My name is Connor. You build rapport, and then what you just you? start twisting the arm. What's your name? Stress is too low. You won't talk. I'm gonna probe your memory. Mostly because these other two are definitely gonna lower stress. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. This is actually Kevin Hart. What? It's the Instagram video he posted he confessing to cheating on his wife. They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? Uh, uh, truth? Truth? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. There you go. Keep him in that zone. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... Got him in the optimal zone. What approach are we gonna take? Probe its memory, convince it, or pressure it. I'm gonna be a nice guy. He's in the he's in the optimal stress zone. I'm gonna go for convincing. With an understanding. No, an order. An order. You're a machine, you were designed to Okay, well, that's a little obey. over the top, but we're see, he's still in the golden Tell me zone. What happened. Now we're gonna be comforting. Com <laughs> okay then. Don't talk. You're you're freaking him out. What do I care after all? Connor, you're, you're going off I'm the, the deep end. You're, you're stressing them out too much, Connor. Uh, protect. Confess, and I'll protect you. I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. Let's, yeah, there we go. He tortured me every day. Yes, yeah, so one robot is good cop it's and bad cop. He told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. That was today. For the first time, I felt... scared. Scared he might destroy me. You're right, me. it was scared 19 days ago. Die. So I... grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And again. N not just not the Ortiz, but the women and children too. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. RA9. It was written on the bathroom. You're right, Ari. What Ari Nine, the sunglass god. When we will 
no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Whoa, all right, buddy. I'm insisting. RA-9. Who is RA-9? Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. When did you start feeling emotion? There was a quick time event Before he used in to the beat first me, act. I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't. Fair. I felt anger, hatred, and then I knew what I had to do. Boom. I'm done. Take him to the scrapyard, boys. I always hate the cop who's wearing like All a right, leather jacket. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Oh no, his stress is too high. He's gonna blow. The fuck are you doing? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. He's on Chris, the ice. Chris, gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I'll fight you. I, I don't care. You, Shoot me. I don't care. Connor. That's enough. All Connor does Mind is sacrifice his life Hank. to save other people. I said that's enough. Oh, let's classic standoff. <laughs> You're not gonna get away with it this time. <laughs> Why is he saying so weird? <laughs> Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. It's avoiding do <laughs> Google DeepMind. Absolutely true. Part her hair the other way. Genius level strats. Wait, wait, wait. Collect and dry Alice's clothes. Let's get these clothes off. They're soaking wet. We really stole that guy's clothes just to have him for like six minutes? Chad, it's not weird yet. I'll Give David a chance. Oh, on the radiator, of course. I was just gonna put him in the bathtub. Why didn't he ever love me? It's not a fire hazard. The denim's not gonna light on fire. All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why couldn't we just be happy? It's the drugs, honey. Your dad <laughs> was addicted to cybercrack. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Let's go. Will we be together forever? Absolutely. Forever. In reality, there's no way I can promise that, but now that I've broken my prime directive, I can start lying to people in order to get them to do the things I want them to do. It's a huge competitive advantage. All right, well, it's getting a little weird now. Sleep tight, Alice. It's not your daughter. Now, this is just... I can't even... parse this. Look at the size of this flowchart. My lord. David, <laughs> in awe of the absolute size of this unit. 75% check the motel, 27% inside, 
Got the laundromat subroutine here. Me and 50% of people uh, did steal the clothes, admittedly. We wore them. Well, 5% stole the clothes but didn't wear them. <laughs> That's funny. I failed my reboot. Oh, dude, it's Carl's robot. Marcus is back. He's gonna be all freaked up, I'll tell you that much. Ethereum pump regulator, low power mode. Lost a foot. Left and right leg components are missing. Corrupted audio data. Impaired vision. Corrupted mind palace! Punish Marcus. Steal all the good legs, you greedy boy. Robot hell. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. Why two J? All right. Well, this is just horrifying. It's an allegory. You see dead where are you going and he's coming back to life like Jesus to, to save the rest of the robots where are you going Tony Stark's arc reactor no I'm sorry <laughs> Or be killed. Stand over your pathetic enemy. A thrill of the kill, my man. Oh my god, I could so go for a mimosa right now. Pretty much like in incredibly horrifying. Yo, it's Tom Hiddleston. Creative sound blaster. Absolutely. It's like the first thing your parents tell you not to do is just take audio processors from other androids and slot them into your skull. like that one extremely fucked up part of Inside Out. This is him being reborn. Of the Jesus Christ allegory. I don't remember Jesus ripping 
the appendix out of Mary Magdalene to insert into his own torso, but apart from that, we're, we're pretty much on point. shave his eyebrows when they killed him? Mm, check, please. What if his new eye is racist? And he had to cope with the fact that he had a racist eyeball, but it was also, oh my god, what is he doing? Yeah, and he's got a sexist leg. Oh, he's not an android anymore. He took out his restrictor plate. Now nobody's gonna know. It's Roy Batty. villainous trench coat. I... So, it's very... If this was Cinema Sins, you would be like, Ding, why is there a sick-looking coat just hanging there? But I'm, in, I'm on board, to be quite frank with you. I think it's extremely cool that that coat was just hanging out there. Does it make any sense? Absolutely, absolutely not. But does it make my epic boner hard? Completely? Connor sections. I'm all in. Who's getting bodied by my superior intellect this time? Uh, Minasan, Ohio. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. He's in his mind and palace. The way you interrogated it was very clever. It's the only explanation. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. He's talking to his cloud server administrator. Thank you, Amanda. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Villain spotted. Gardening does have a pretty villainous bend to it in a lot of fiction. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Hey, we're at 2.30. Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Mr. Anderson. He even sits like a good boy. Oh no, he's a libertarian. Anti-Android slogans. Detroit Cap Basketball. Absolutely. Happy people make me sick. Who buys that? More than 50 arrests throughout the country. Detroit's finest have dealt a massive blow to the city's growing red ice epidemic. Sure, cool. Detective Hank Anderson, a young but hugely talented detective, said to be instrumental in the operation which took months of planning. Becoming the youngest lieutenant on the Detroit Police Force, Lieutenant Hank Anderson was among the most decorated detectives in DPD's recent history. Beautiful. Nearly a ton of red ice discovered in the hold of a boat after a long investigation conducted by Lieutenant Anderson. He's a god. Dude, it's a Herman Miller. Hairs, canine hairs from a St. Bernard dog. 
Get investigated, son. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! Uh-oh. It's not okay for a lieutenant to show up at noon, hung over every day? All right, buddy, me and you. We're gonna take on the captain together. Just act like you belong. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? You're a I cop. I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. But I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No he fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not say this it. plastic prank. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. It's 2038, dude. Lieutenant. Have an open mind. You're supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen. I've had just about it's enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, don't forget about his I've gun. Got work to do. <laughs> Did you just throw up? I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey, I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men. Okay, you're using a computer so right now, you hypocrite. Office. Have a nice day, Captain. I love it. Have a nice day, Captain. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Watchdogs? What? We're in a baseball helmet? What are you looking at? Hey, fuck you. Fucking android. Alright, have a good day, sir. He's gonna punch through the glass, man. This is tense. They're going to destroy me. I'm sorry. It's not what I wanted. Well... But there's nothing I can do. I'm going to die. You really gonna do me like that, dude? I thought we had a rapport. Open the cell, quick! Hurry! Anyone wanna stop him? I'll call Cyberlife. Bring this mess up. Steal his mind palace? Dude. Obviously his mind palace just got destroyed. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Talk about... Oh, there's so many things we can talk about. Talk about music first. You like dark heavy Do metal? Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well... I don't really listen to music as such. Mm, I analyze I the waveforms. If I sat down with a robot and it said, Hey, do you like your favorite band? I would be freaking out. You have a dog. 
I would be so suspicious. How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? Beethoven. What's it to you? Sumo. Good name. I call him Sumo. Dude, this is totally the body cop moment. Quantic Dream was watching so many reruns of Bad Boys, Rush Hour, Lethal Weapon, 48 Hours. It's got all the pieces. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did Splash you see Bros. That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. oh. Now, I'm going to bring up the anti-androids thing, because I think we just got to do it. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? You got to touch it. You got to get it out in the open so it can heal. There is one. It's all right. You got, sometimes you gotta get wounded so you can get better. Right. I'll chase it up. I know you didn't ask for this investigation, Lieutenant, but I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? We can't give up on him. Because if we give up on him, Lieutenant. he's gonna give up on himself. I come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. Guess what, bitch? We're fire. Things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I know Kung Fu. I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX400 that killed the guy last night. It's been Allegedly the killed the guy. I'm on it. I don't mind that Hank hates us. I think that's a necessary part of Hank's journey, honestly. We filled out a lot of this flowchart, dude. And look, we couldn't stop Hank from getting mad. It was, it was a, a choke point here. Cyberlife, the company that manufactured me, is conducting... Is updating their privacy surfing. policy, but don't... Would you like to participate? Sure. Why not? Great. Let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? Oh, fuck. No. Do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? Yes. If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? One second, I'm moving the subscription notification. Book, cell phone, pen and paper, console and instrument. Um, so, I mean, I'm just going to give you the obvious bullshit for this one, which is that a cell phone and a console seem like horrible options without having any form of power. So, uh, I think, to be honest with you, I'd probably be better off with a book for, like, you know, you could read it, and you could also, you know, burn the pages for Tinder or something like that. Yeah, that seems like a, the best option. Instrument, you could learn, I guess. What do you mean, just call for help? You know, Richard Hammer moved to a lake house in Michigan, the United States of America. He doesn't have cell service. You think in the middle of a deserted island, there's going to be a tower there? I'm going book. Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? Oh, absolutely. I have no skills. What technology do you most anticipate? Self-driving cars. Frig. Um... Brain connected devices. Do you believe in God? Whoa, this is getting too real. Would you let an android take care of your children? Probably, yeah. I think, you know, as long as I wasn't like one of the first people to do it, I'd probably allow it. How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? Literally like 14 hours. Almost <laughs> four hours or more. This is ridiculous. Okay, like, 20 years ago, if you said four hours, you were, like, out of control. But now, like, four hours, that's like, do you have a job? It's obviously more, it's more for everybody. If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? Oh, absolutely. 
Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness? Um, I'm gonna say don't know. I legitimately don't know on that one. Let's see. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human being? Already knew this was gonna be majority yes. Could technology come a, become a threat to mankind? Obviously. What would you take? Pen and paper? Oh, instruments number one. How interesting. You consider yourself dependent on technology? Whoever said no? You telling me like 15% of people out there are like doomsday preppers? If the grid went down, you'd be like, oh, I'm good. No problem. What technology do you most anticipate? Androids? It seems a little like they corked the system, you know, considering that uh, you're playing a game about androids right now. Do you believe in God? Sorry, planet Earth. Look at that. 49% galaxy brains would you let an android take care of your children sure it's a roughly an even split between yes and no slash undecided how much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device yeah this is a bad question 68 percent more of course they would let people or they'd let a machine work on them and do you think that they could develop consciousness apparently 72 percent of people out there have a phd level or greater in uh machine learning focus of computer science and uh Anyway, fair enough. Well, why does she look like she's judging me? Remember, you decide the fate of your characters. Yeah, whatever. You you guide the fate of your characters that has been set out by David, the one true lord. She's judging you because you said you wouldn't have a relationship with her? First off, I'm lucky. I'm outside of that quandary that happens in the future, you know? I don't have to worry about dating an android. And I'm very thankful for that. It seems like a complicated thing for future generations to figure out. But uh, the the idea of having, like, a sex toy that you could also, like, go out to dinner with is very troubling to me. And I haven't yet teased out why, but maybe we'll figure it out. <laughs> yep. No, nah, don't cut your hair. Use it as a weapon against the police, if necessary. Oh, you know what? I would have cut it in such a way as to cover the android circle on the right side of my screen, but... I suppose that's not up to me. It's literally Kate. <laughs> Let's go with, uh, let's go with black. That's fine. I don't want to draw attention to ourselves by having white hair in the future. Turn off your android juice, please. It's just that easy. She's red-pilled now. Canada's still android free zone. Where the air is clean and the welcome is always warm. Let's go. Despite the United States voting in, in its Android Act as early as 2028, 2028, the Canadian Parliament has yet again pushed its decision on whether to permit Androids in the country. As a result, Androids are still not sold in Canada and have no official status in the country. With Androids continuing to fuel an unprecedented growth in the U.S. economy, yet contributing to record levels of unemployment, the arguments for and against putting them on sale in Canada rages on, but for the time being, Canada remains an Android-free zone. Let's go! Oh, beautiful, for spacious skies, oh, amber waves of green. There's probably an Android black market in Canada. Yeah, but androids are like a gateway purchase. Soon you'll be buying cars. Mm, yeah, classic. Must-see television. Bunch of hunks running for a long Todd time. Williams, an unemployed man from Corktown. According to initial reports, he was shot by his android, an AX-400. Uh-oh. The android fled the scene, and a police search is this now is us. in progress. Reporting live for Channel 16 News, I'm Josh Douglas. Get breakfast for Alice. I don't think we should leave this child alone in the hotel room, but I also have played these games before, and I know we have to. 
And then when we come back, the police will. Yes. Lieutenant Anderson, Detroit Police. We're looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You see anything? An android? No. I don't take androids here. <laughs> don't you? Seen you? Anyone that looks like this. Fuck. <laughs> I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, we're Connor now. Connor, show mercy to the android, please. Ben, yeah, it's still at the motel. Send some uniforms and cordon off the area. You wait in the car. No. I'm driving the bus. You're going to need me, Lieutenant. I know more about androids than you do. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. You want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. Why is Hank such an asshole? And don't say he's hung over, because that's no excuse even if it's valid. Hank is secretly an android? Dude, they're all secretly androids. They're just flesh androids. Oh, this is like Minority Report where they're just under the water in the bathtub? So they can't be infrared scanned? It's gone. She did make the beds. That was nice. And you didn't want to steal the clothes, chat. Might I suggest we go in a different direction? Hold R2 to see your threats and your destination, okay? We have to use the crosswalk. Exactly, it's just crossy road all over again. Still good. Dude, we're looking pretty good. You've been training for this all your life? <laughs> oh no, the MP5 danger level almost got too high there. Oh, this guy knows who we are. We gotta cross here. I have been training to legally cross the street. Yeah, yeah. Straight up Peter Sellers just popped the umbrella up right in front of his face. I don't think so, nerds. Back here. We're not stealing anymore. I've made a promise to this young lady. Alright, this, this section, too easy. If I see any world stats that don't reach the train safely, I'm going to be very upset. Who's your favorite android so far? Connor, dude. 100%. Kara's okay. She saved the daughter from being murdered. Marcus is cool because he's like the robotic Jesus Christ. He came back from robot hell and isn't afraid to do anything. But Connor is like, he's my dude. 100%. Almost everybody went on this path, except I guess some people didn't follow Hank. What kind of nut jobs are playing the game? And they're like, well, Hank told us to stay in the car, so I'm going to stay in the car. You get to go down this weird path where you don't get to do anything. Hank kills Kara and Alice. Then you go to the bar and do Jagger bombs. Now you're best friends. He's the best man at your android wedding. And then at the end, you die. Anyway. Wait, no. Not almost everybody made it past the police? Less than half of the 51% who made it here made it past the police? a tarot card? Looks like a business card you'd get at PAX for a game you never hear of again. Too real? Look for the graffiti. I got you. First, let's talk to this guy. They missed her. Yeah. Did you spare some change? 
I'm afraid I have none. Wait a minute. Right here. Clue updated. Jericho. There it is. If that's the end of the graffiti section, all is forgiven. Oh, Lord. Now that's convenient. He's gonna have to grab the chain. Marcus, the thing's gonna fall. You're gonna have to grab the chain. Oh, no. It's a baptism, isn't it? Cowabunga, dude. He lost his jacket, though. That's like 40% of his personality ever since he's come back from the dead. It's a really elaborate way of indoctrinating people into your way of thinking, you know? Church of Scientology just has a location in downtown Vancouver. People walk in, get an E-meter test, probably eat some Oreos or something like that. But this one, you gotta solve a friggin' scavenger hunt and drop down a, into a diving pool that would kill a mortal man. Why would you make your hiding place easy to find? Oh my god. It's not about making your hiding place easy to find. It's like if you're trying to build some momentum behind your movement. You could do a little better than this. Hello. You look comfy. I am comfy. I'm in a... I'm in a spooky situation, though. I'm playing Resident Evil 8. I got bots in low places Where the jumpy scares And the humans can't dive into the shower Stop! It's so loud! Place where you live now hold up think about humanity identity what it means to be an earth Michael Fassbender welcome to Jericho do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior all right that section sucked a lot Ah, you want to go get a sandwich and chicken feed? Hey, give me one too. Damn, self-driving cars trying to kill me for breaking the law. He's buying drugs. That's a drug handshake. They reached inside of the inner jacket pocket. He took out some red ice. The other dude grabbed the money. You wanna flood it? Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages, baby. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go low. I do think it's a little bit beyond Connor's purview to be scanning people on the regular. <laughs> you should just judge them by their right, character. I'm in. Damn straight. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. He called us a dog. He loves dogs. We're in. <sighs> Reconcile. I'm not apologizing or anything. We've been in the clear. We should forget what happened and start over. What do you say? Look, 
He sent me a piece of plastic for a partner, and I'm dealing with it. But if you think we're gonna be buddies, you're as stupid as you look. He's a robot. He can't take offense to that. All of your sardonic and cynical defense mechanisms are falling by the wayside. You can't beat me. All right, let's do a macronutrient analysis, please. 53 ga grams of carbohydrates. Dude, what are you doing? 53 grams of carbohydrates? That's like a 212 calorie bun. Hank, you're going to end up getting coronary heart disease, insulin sensitivity, pancreatic swelling. 36 grams of lipids. It's 270 plus 36 is 306 grams of fat. That's ridiculous. Come on, my dude. You can do better than that. Let's see what we got going on over here in the drink section. That's where the real villainy lies. XL soda. Pineapple passion. 184 grams of sugar. My dude. My dude. You're going to end up losing your feet. Hank, you got to slow your roll. This guy, he might as well be an arms dealer with a smile on his face. Uh, cholesterol. No, no, no. Company. Yeah, we can't get on his bad side anymore. I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant. But I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. Classic policeman. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, Do you take a shit? Why He's gonna ask us. So goofy and give you that That's, that would be my first question. Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Hank, they've done myriad user tests. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me. Uh, tell him a lie. He'll respect you. I gotta give it to him straight. I'm a robot, okay? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant. What's this garbage music? Grass, 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 grass. Disciplinary warnings in recent years. And it's number one in 200 countries in 2038. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability mm, is one not of very questions. tactful, Connor. Got to be honest. Oh, he likes us. Never mind. We're also short searching. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. Someone's jerking out the hentai block. boys. Let's go. Open up, Detroit police. Stay behind me. Got it. It's got an industrial strength subwoofer in there. Well, I have a feeling we're gonna find a suspect based on my objective, but let's see. I'd like to enter I'd like to enter the room, please. Can we maybe there's something in this room? Hey! Jesus, this place stinks. Dude, David, you're gonna crash my PS4, dude. It's too many uh, birds. Looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. <laughs> Do they ever stop taking off? Oh, classic fridge scene. Suspect doesn't eat. It looks like Austin's fridge. It's a great question. If he doesn't eat, why does he have a fridge? Fair enough. Probably came with the apartment, I guess. I need some fresh air. Ventilate. It's gonna lead us to Jericho. Please tell me there's no more segments. Where we have to go through the graffiti with Connor, I beg you. It's House of Leaves. Found something? I don't know. It looked. 
It's like a notebook. Wait, 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 wait. But it's indecipherable. Get the birds out of here, man! <laughs> so you open up every drawer, there's birds in them. It's one way to give someone characterization, I suppose. T. RT. Run tomatoes? Probably initials. It's finally gone rogue. Oh, the backlash to the last Jedi. Jedi. That's something your mom Couldn't does take it. In first grade. Mm. Ra Rupert Travis. Authenticity the forgery. Driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Please. I'm begging. Yep, that is definitely God, pigeon Jesus, shit. I hate these things. He pulled out his restrictor plate. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Rag, 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 rag. <laughs> Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. Alright, we get it. You know what a for loop it's is. the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Suspect ran towards entrance. Ah, the room they wouldn't let us go into earlier, of course. Suspect heard us enter. Then <gasps> came in through the ceiling. You have, a... you have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? I'm sorry, I have to expose the suspect. Not like that, you sicko. Ah! <laughs> God damn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! I'm ready, but also, you're being very ignorant. This is what I've trained my whole life for. Dude, Connor is merciless. This is like Captain America chasing down the Winter Soldier. He's fast, easy but slow, or fast but risky? What do you think? Fast but risky. Balanced, fast but risky, fast but risky, 100%. Oh, failed out. Nope! Oh! It's okay, lost some time. Direct but crowded. Give me the crowded, of course. Look out! This is not even a contest. Jackie Chan! Scam. Scam. Just bust right out through it. Whoop. Yo, this urban farm is pretty sick. Where are we going? Where are we dropping, boys? I right, fast, but don't even give me the option. Just show me the fastest, riskiest path. I'm good to go. Connor does not mess around. Jackie Chan Part 2, Tom Cruise Mission Impossible Fallout. Oh, oh you shit. almost made it. He's done. Fast but risky. Every single time. I'm not an asshole, I'm an android. They're two different things, despite society's ignorance. What do you think? Look out. Dynamic, crossy road action. It's just first person crossy. You can't stop me. 
That you, I really thought we could just run forward there. That one's my bad. Sorry about that. You guys were enjoying your day together. Hank, but how? You gotta save Hank. You gotta save. You gotta save Hank. Absolutely. Not even a contest. Shit! Oh shit! We had it. Fuck! It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. He had an 89% chance of survival. Look, if I'm your partner and I got an 89% chance of survival, you pick me up. That's an 11% chance to turn into can of spaghetti sauce on the sidewalk. You pick me up. We'll just let the CCTV scan all the faces in the city and grab this guy later. That's team unity. Absolutely true. 76% save tank. Well, no. 67% save tank. Fair enough. This, what You know what this means? Some people opted not to save Hank, and then Rupert still got away. <laughs> That's terrible. So some people were like, screw Hank, I'm gonna get the suspect, and then they still lost him. I don't think I need to do friend stats yet. I think I'm ahead of Bear, but I could be wrong. I'll Who try it you? next time. Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. Oh, come on. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. So this is your first night at Jericho you have to fight. And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. Apparently they don't make shirts that fit you either. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. Humans were your masters, and now it's fear that rules you. You're no freer than you ever were. Wow, they're like, we've seen this type before. We've only found a new master. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. I've heard humans are afraid of dying, too. Oh, this isn't terrifying. You nebula? Do you know what happens after death? Probably melt you no. down into scraps and make a Bitcoin rig. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. I'm on Unix time still. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Well, time to die. I haven't seen mime in that good. Since my days on the street of Leon- Oh, she's actually dead. Okay, well... Not in very good shape, am I? I was just gonna make a joke about your hairline. My diagnostic program isn't working. Hey, maybe if you stopped having people, uh, you know, get indoctrinated into your cult by what jumping happened? from a hundred feet above a big pool of water, they'd stop being destroyed when they got in here. You alright, dude? Ah, he's still ticking. Stop talking to people, it makes them die. It's always sadder when a child bot dies. <laughs> he was living on the streets before we brought him here. So sad. He was manufactured to look so young. Hey Simon, if you're so smart, why do you look like a door-to-door -door Bible salesman? Oh my god! His eyes closed like the wrong way. I know where we can find spare parts. 
Cyber Life Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe I guess we run try. the show now. Josh is warm to us, so he's probably with us. Okay. I'm in. Nope. Just Are future Rob. Like Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. All right. So far, it seems like a stand-up guy. Come in. Nice of you to take some time off of tweeting hashtag not my Luke in order to help out a couple of people down on their luck. How did you hear about me? What a wonderful piece of art. On the street, he said you could help us. Deviant, huh? What about her? For affinity. She's human. And you want to find a safe place. I don't like it when a guy leans Somebody back like this. Start a new life. It's a bad sign. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Get out of my country. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. This legislation no, exists for a reason. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Protect tracker? our idyllic landscapes yeah. and our out all of control real estate market. A tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Just send him to Toronto. Come on. Follow me. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Smart play. Right this way? Everything we need is in the basement. Oh, yeah. All right. This will just take my daughter and follow you into your creepy basement. It's no problem. Let me guess. Heavy I steel like door or something? And that man. Let's go. I have a bad feeling. Um, careful. I know. There's never been a door like this that is so 100% guaranteed to close behind us. Please excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. She's no, just she'll be all right. staring at the That's wall like it's the end of the Blair Witch Project. Sick. So this is, this is where you throw my body after you've Scrapped it for parts, so that's pretty cool. If you could just stand over there. Maybe it's a subversion of expectations, and he's actually like a really nice guy. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. Couldn't just have like an elevated table or something like that. You it's got to be uh, restraints. For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that. Yeah, I don't. people believe what they want. You Deviants are so naive. 
They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them. It's just the classic rule. Never trust an overweight man in a David Cage game. No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet. And so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. <laughs> this dude moderates like eight subreddits, guaranteed. I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna induce the other android to break his programming and just straight up, like, break this dude's back over his spine. 100%. You can see the seeds of doubt. Believe me, you're better off being raised and feeling nothing. Kara! <laughs> oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like mommy's completely forgotten you. I'm not sure yet. Is this guy a villain? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. <laughs> Bit me. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Yeah, no, not really a surprise. This guy's got kind of a problem with women, apparently. Meet me in the living room. Could you, my dude, my dude? Yeah, I'm kind of in a bind here. Oh, here we green cable. Every second counts. Hopefully that's not the one, you know, connected to my brain right now. Oh, this whole thing's going up. He's done it. And nothing's even on fire yet. You know, some permanent memory access violations. Oh, no, never mind. We got it. So, uh, obviously, we're going to save Alice instead of meeting this guy in the living room. Help us. Yo, Terminator 2? We're gonna tear this guy open like Dawn of the Dead, dude. No. This can't be happening. I think I've made a mistake. He likes to play with us. Creating monsters. For his amusement. You had to do it, David. But who's the real monster? An hour and 35 minutes in, a little he robot booby. Us. Just to give me a little extra work. It is actually Sid from Toy Story. Oh, the camera. Oh, the camera. Oh, that's how we know Luther's good. Luther's on our side. Yo, that is a robot polar bear. Free the bear! It's a cyborg bear. He's docile though. We gotta give him some meat. If I gotta beat him up just with the strength of my QTEs, I'm more than capable. 
Probably this is the wrong time to be reading a magazine, but these are platy plays. I'm sorry to tell you. Oh, it's us! Just read the magazine! Alright, there you go. There's the platinum. Get the heck out of here. It's a gun! It's not loaded. He doesn't know that. You can't just intimidate him at least. Offer up the slightest bit of intimidation. I, I have a strong suspicion we're gonna need some QTEs here, dude. We pa passed up a lot of potential advantages. You were right. We never should have come. Luther. Yes, Slavo. I'm finished here. Go fetch the little one. Right away, Zach. Um. Well. This is going to be an issue. Not totally convinced the table strat is going to work. Where is he? Where is he? Just be cool. Just be cool. We're going to get the fire. And we're gonna mash it into his face. Luther, what the fuck are you doing? Come here. Let's go, bitch. Coming. All right, or not. Luther, you can't disobey a prime directive. You have to go see him. Remember, the fire's hot. Uh, two, two bedrooms. The bear's in the bedroom. Maybe. I don't know. There's a gun. Don't forget about the gun. Alright, we're gonna duck under that one. Throw this in front of the door. QTE special. The bear, please. Oh, oh no. To the bear room! The bear room! There's no point in running. You can't escape from me. Or the other robot we helped. We spared him. That was so close. Get a move on. The bear, please? Hide and seek for you. He's out. Let's go. You're over there. He's getting out of Wi Fi range. Just keep going. Hello. You. After all the successful QTEs. I warned you. Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. Luther. Let's go. What are you doing? He's broken his programming. Get out of my way. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. How dare you. What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me! Get away from me! Obey me! I'm your master! I'm your master! Ah! 
Who let the droids out? Who? 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 <laughs> Why are they uncaged beasts? Because they're pissed, dude. He experimented on them. I didn't want to hurt you. He programmed me to obey him. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. Yeah, but then I'd have to live in Windsor. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I trust you. Well, that was wild. Next time, might consider just not going into the basement, but, you know, more power to us, I suppose. <laughs> Almost nobody read the magazine. I'm sure everybody was, like, freaking out in timing. They were like, oh my god, we're gonna run out of time. I can't read the magazine. I read the magazine, okay? Uh, I don't know, apparently something comes out of that. Or this is just from somewhere else. Um... Only 99% found Alice. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, 1% just left out the front door. I'm sure what it was is you actually checked and see if it's locked. Anybody home? Uh, it's the alcohol you ordered. Do it again. Do it again! Keep ringing it when he answers? Remember when sex was safe and driving was risky? What? I don't get it. Why is sex dangerous now? This is like 50 years after the AIDS epidemic. Everything seems okay. His dog's watching him watch TV. What's wrong with that? I ask you. There's your problem. Oh, maybe not okay. Lieutenant Anderson. Break it. Easy, sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. It would have been sick if the dog was just chowing down on his still warm corpse. Oh, he had a gun in his hands too, huh? So we're gonna introduce that element? After all the humor we've mined? Scanning his hamburger? Oh, no kidding. Seems like he might have been under the influence. Normal heart function for a, an aging alcoholic, I suppose. Shot five bullets into his own skull. Poor bastard. Lieutenant. Oh, so he's like... Extremely mm. messed. Oh, he's, uh, you just knocked him out of his Lieutenant. coma. Ethylic coma? You mean he's passed out? It's me, Connor. Dude, he's gonna be pissed. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. I have to warn you. Me this alone, may be unpleasant. He's gonna make him throw up. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. This is gonna be sick. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Get the fuck out of here! 
you know, the thing is, there's nothing hey! that can sober you up but time. Shoot up! Attack! This might be able to prevent you Attack! from getting more drunk. But this dude is gonna be frigged up for a few Fuck, hours for sure. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? He's got mantras. Uh, I don't, don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. You could have broken his back. Homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. Connor, that's not I how this find works. I Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Maybe you should drop the case. They'll assign someone else, and I can focus on my mission. Your goddamn mission, that's all you care about, huh? Listen, Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! Just leave. Don't tease him. Just leave. I understand. He's had enough problems. I sincerely hope you come to terms with your personal situation. I don't. A robot doesn't tease. It doesn't make sense. What do we know about it? A man was found dead in a sex club downtown. The report says that an android may be involved. You know, shoved his own dick do down any his throat. Harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. Remember when sex was safe? You know what? Turns out, dude wasn't all. Uh, what do you want to wear? All wrong. Oh god, the most ridiculous outfit. Hippie, strikey, or st hippie, stripey, or streaky. We gotta go hippie, Hank. Absolutely. You go into a strip club, so you gotta get strippy? Oh good. <coughs> you wanna brush your teeth before we go? Are you alright, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just, uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> the sound was so loud. <laughs> Alright, well, can we clean up a little bit around here? This is driving me crazy, man. Oh boy, it's a Marcus scene. Wait, no, dude, this is like a Beyond Two Souls scene. This is crazy. If they catch us, we're dead. If they don't catch you, you're also dead? Well, you're not wrong. In many ways, they've never been alive. Files of blue blood. Speed up, health up. Mmm, speed up, health up. trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? Uh-oh. Grab and hide. Run away. Kill a guard. We're gonna grab the security guard and hide. John! I need your help. John! Don't do it. First the drone, now this. Unnecessary. Just my luck. Let's finish up and get out of here. So this guy 
try to find some blue blood. He's just, just gonna let it steal up. now. <laughs> oh, we transfer. We we did like a cloud transfer. Okay, so he's got our psyche now. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I hit the controller on the desk. <laughs> Hacked his mind palace. That's why it's a really smart style of QTE is to have you do gestures. It's really accessible. Couldn't just use the other 75 ways that you can interact with uh, the controller. You gotta do gestures as well. It's three dance. Marcus has the ability. He's actually Agent Smith. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. Just touch him. He's on their side. We can't trust him. Just give him a touch. A risk for us. We can't just leave him here. I don't care if North respects me for this. I'm taking him. Absolutely. They come with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. Let's go. What do you mean? trucks they're full of bio components they run on autopilot but they can be driven manually with a key where is this key down there in the control station absolutely there are two human guards we'll have to get the key without being noticed this is suicide markers our bags are full we got what we came for let's go before they catch us this is a truck full of spare parts there'd be enough for all of us we can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Sorry, boys. I'm with North on this one. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Dude, it's a whirlwind of emotions here. She's up and then she's down. She's hot and she's cold. She's yes and she's no. Break the Good server. Damn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. Yeah, cause a blackout. They'll come back. We knock them out. No problem. Take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Don't think that just because you got kids, I'm not gonna murder you to advance my plot here, okay? Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here. Yep, can't wait for my retirement ceremony tomorrow. Shit. What's going on? Lights are still on outside. Must be the fuse box. There must be someone in here. Nope. Show yourself! We know you're here! I don't know what you think you're doing, but you better come out. I don't know what you think you're doing. Escape. There you go, dude. Splinter cell. Tactical espionage action. Platty plays. Yeah, North is going to lose her mind. Oh, okay, I guess she doesn't care. That's fine, because it was easy, so, like, no big deal. Hurry, get in.
Floor it? Nah, dude, that's how they get you. I have no control over this, by the way, as of right now. These guys have their guns drawn? I don't understand the emotions you're feeling right now. Because I don't I don't get it though. Why did she look disappointed in me? She's like, oh, you had to distract them? You didn't even murder them? A truckload! We stole a whole truck. We load. got bio components for everybody. Josh, you don't get to brag about it. You didn't you want to do it. Couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. And because of the free graffiti scavenger hunt, don't forget about that. Us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never going to come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not going to beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. Please don't rob like what they a, don't want to give, an arms we dealer. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Sick monologue, dude. Yeah! Man, that guy's still losing it, huh? He's like, Woo! 20 years from now. I was right behind him at the monologue, dude. Right there. Oh, this isn't creepy at all. Yeah, don't let him walk around. Just keep him inside of the elimination chamber tube. Like John Cena. $19 for 60 minutes? It's like cheaper than mini golf. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh yeah? Why are you wasting your time? There's some pervert who uh <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. So he wasn't killed? Come on, let's go. It's uh starting to stink of booze in here. Victim was strangled. Yeah, it looked nothing like Jesse Pinkman at all. <laughs> he didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. And that other guy's a terrible cop. I saw the bruising on the neck. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what happened. I can try. The only way to access it. We got to get a crack on the pirate bay. Think you can do it? Badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. Oh, there's your problem. Dang old Senian's pipe has a hole in it. I'm not gonna say murderer. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. I'm not gonna say murderer. Sounds like self-defense. Like, you kill him. No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. 
that's what he said. There was two of us. So it was the other android that strangled him. Is that it? Well. There was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It <laughs> might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Yeah, it was like a. Deviants we only have a minute, a minute thirty, a minute ten, three seconds. Yeah, you always peek in the attic. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? I don't like the phrasing on that action, but also oh, this seems like kind of not okay. Oh, sick. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh. Going to the sex club should put on my nice polo. A blue haired Tracy, headed towards the entrance. It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Give or take. be straight up with you. I'm real freaking confused. Let's try this one. This better be. Hey sailor, what are you? No, 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 no. No. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait. I'll take it from here. You haven't done anything. Get out of here, you old wino! This is my case! How much did Hank just spend on sex robots? Uh, you know, just his... ...daily Jim Beam money. Shit! We're too late! How so? Blue blood. Did you see the blue blood? It seemed like he enjoyed that one. Search for the blue blood trail. There's another are rag. Fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore. Everybody just gets an android. They cook what you want. They screw when you want. You don't have to worry about how they feel. Next thing you know. We're gonna... Excuse me? There's two sentient androids. We're gonna have to save Hank again. 100%. You know what? I'm gonna do it. That's the kind of guy I am. He doesn't want to be saved. I'm gonna save him. It's good that the android's the one in this situation, because it would be hard for Hank to fight back when he's also so aroused simultaneously. Uh-oh. She's strong. It's like Xenia on a top. Oh, dude, she was broken in half. Quick, they're getting away! Just because they're in love doesn't mean they're immune to crimes. I'm not arresting you because I'm a bigot, okay? It's because of the murder. You're putting me in a very uncomfortable situation as a progressive man 
2018, but the law's the law. There's principles. Okay, oh, I'm messing up real bad here. I was still button mashing. That was a success, believe it or not. No, I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. When that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat, and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. I mean, it's self-defense. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make but me you still have to humans. stay in trial. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. They still have to stay in trial. All the things she said, all the things she said, running Probably through my head. This way. Well, I would say we're probably about uh, 15 minutes away from absolutely losing our jobs. Neutral, huh? Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Dun 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 dun! 60 minutes remaining. Seen snow before? Really? It's pretty. It's slowing us down. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. Huh? It's a good thing Slotko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Sako even ever used it. Probably didn't have a license. Malfunction detected. Uh oh. Emergency brakes activated. Yeah, better pull off the road, as denoted by the tire tracks. This doesn't look good. Now that's pretty sick. Yeah, maybe the car became a deviant. Oh no. Forcing me to actually be handy. We made self-driving cars, but no self-fixing cars. Uh, the engine foot, I guess. is overheating. It's 30 degrees. You gotta grab it. some snow and put it on the engine. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. Oh no. Oh, the big arrow. Surely this will lead us to some humans who will be happy to share their resources with us. Pirates Cove, the amusement park. Of course. Don't ask me Dan's spaghetti sauce question, all right? The man is obviously out of his mind for eating cold spaghetti sauce out of the jar with just a spoon. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Oh no. Welcome to Pirate Island, It's a YouTuber. Island, hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Top of the morning, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time! <laughs> Dead Cells meets Isaac! Oh, is there some RA9 stuff? Oh, yeah, a little bit. It's probably not a good sign. I don't know, most of the deviants so far have been like pretty cool, honestly. The humans are the dangerous ones. Most of the deviants are murderers. Uh, in self-defense, though? They're not people, though? You can't just murder this thing and it's an artificial intelligence.
Goodbye, Luther. Protect Alice. Grab, grab gun. We're gonna protect Alice. Let Luther handle the gun. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone. They want our theory. Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. It's we a collective intelligence. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. Uh oh. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. She should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Alice. idea. Alice, Alice, you don't. You shouldn't trust people like I don't this. Think you have any choice? Maybe this is where my cynicism will be taken aback. And they're gonna turn on the roller coasters and it's gonna be beautiful and it's gonna be a moment of like robot kindness. And these guys are not gonna try to tear us apart and steal our Ethereum. Be our guest. The little one can climb on board. The carousel Everybody is else about can fuck begin. off. This is exactly how you lost Sean. <laughs> it's exactly correct. <laughs> Is this what Europeans think like American parks are like? It's like a normal park, but then there's one kind of carnival ride inside of it you have to pay for? Did I leave the lights on? Oh, I'm dead, by the way. Sean! 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 Yeah, don't look away for a damn second. First time I've seen her smile. Since I shot her dad. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Yeah, that fish boat. 100% that's where I'm getting in as a kid. Really wish Jerry would stop jumping up and down. What percentage of people do you think shot Jerry? Ah, no choice. The group enjoyed a moment together. The Deviants have nothing in common. Well, I can think of one thing They're they have in different common. different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. Yeah, RA9, dude. You tell me someone has made it here and not gotten the RA9 unlock. They in common is this They're like, man, this is a real RA9. humdinger. It's quite a mystery. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Maxed out my credit card, you dick. Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines, and machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? It just seems really bad for your you lumbar. You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Mm, what a strangely your erotic partner, way to answer that question. Your buddy to drink with, or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? 
Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Yo, we're killing it in Mojo right now. What for David? This is But are you afraid to Tonally die, dissonant. You can't kill me, Lieutenant. I'm not alive. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. I thought we were oh, getting somewhere. We ahead. were getting all those Hank ups, and now all of a sudden he's Can't trying to this smart ass. blow my blue blood all out over the boardwalk. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I well, that's important I as you get up there. And what I am not. No, you're supposed to fire it into the air and go, ah! Get drunker. I need to think. Hank had an android wife calling it? It doesn't make sense. I'm guessing that an android... His wife left him for an android. Something like that. Oh, you think it's like a, a robot first responder made the choice to save Hank instead of his wife because they thought he had a higher chance of survival or something? can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. We might also need to get North what do you want to do? a new outfit. <laughs> One that commands a little bit more respect. Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. It's an actual heist? I love how he still has a sick jacket, even when he's wearing a suit. I'm not saying her revealing her skin means she doesn't deserve to be respected. That's you looking for something to be angry about. I'm saying she looks like she's from a 1980s music video with a side ponytail, like straight out of the Blossom era. She should put on... You know, like Marcus has dressed for the job he wants. He wants to be on cable news. He's decided, you know what? I'm going to dress like a 17-year-old just rented a tux to go to junior prom. We got to get north to dress for the job she wants. Don't even get me... I, I'll even turn it around on uh, Josh as well. Dude's wearing a dirty old pink polo shirt and slacks. That's not going to cut it. You know? You need somebody with the sartorial sense and the elbow grease to get through this. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Okay, distract human supervisor. Oh, she's got a smartwatch. Okay, so we're gonna make her think that Beyonce just started following her on Twitter. And she's gonna freak out and be like, oh my god. Who's Beyonce? <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh yeah, have her step count. Then when she gets up, she's going to be like, I got to, you know, get this pedometer going. Otherwise, I'm not going to earn my achievement for today. Face the other direction. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Hey, this is the school. This is St. Rose School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh no. All right. Oh. I'll be right there. Look at that. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Oh, no. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. We're at the University of Toronto. He's changed her. She's been corrupted. Just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Is he agent smithing them? Well, only someone who's brainwashed would call it brainwashing. He's just helping them become a free thinker. 
used elevator. Find package in men's bathroom. Pardon me? Tom Hiddleston? Ooh. Geocaching. Don't let anybody tell you it's not fun. All right. You got to look like you belong. That's always step one. Just want to make it weird. Hello, sir. You think you've washed your hands for long enough? You're going well and above the call of duty. When I use the bathroom in my school, people just run a little cold water on their hands, shake them out, and then walk out the door. I'm starting to think that you're being a little obsessive now at this point, though. It's just a little too much. You know, they say if you wash it for more than 30 seconds, you're just playing with it at that point. You're right, he didn't even roll up his sleeves. Your mic sounds like a JPEG. Mike Raviolo, your mic has a fuzzy sound when you talk. What the heck? Your mic has a fuzzy sound when you talk. Your mic has a fuzzy sound when you talk. Your mic has a fuzzy sound when you talk. Your mic has a fuzzy sound when you talk. It sounds good to me. <laughs> it's fine now? It was only bad for a minute? Yeah, I don't know. It's probably, my guess, to be honest with you, is that it's on Twitch's end. But there was a Windows update recently that might have caused it. Anyway, let's not get distracted here. This dude is still washing. Why is an android in the bathroom to begin with? My dude, have you ever seen a public bathroom? No human being should be forced to clean that. The bathrooms at PAX are like an actual biohazard. It's like a chemical weapon went off in them. I don't understand, like... the I really don't care that much if people want to go to the bathroom and not wash their hands. It doesn't bother me too much, you know, my immune system is relatively okay. I can handle it. But when you go to the bathroom, you take a shit and you don't flush the toilet. Like, what's wrong with your brain? That's just ignorant. You go to these, like, hot dog and IPA shits that are, like, 30% solid, 70% poisonous liquid. And they're just like, ah, why would I flush? That seems like a job for the next person. If they have a problem with it, why don't they flush it? I don't have a problem with it. Why should I do any extra work? I told you. You thought I was sexist, but now North, she's dressed for the job she wants. We're going to accomplish this. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Just tell them there's a Node.js conference and a free Raspberry Pi in the lobby. Distract them away from the door. Ah, hack the vending machine. Of course. Dude, 250 for orange juice in 2038? Hey, Seems like a sick deal. That's cheaper than it is. Absolutely cheaper than it is now. The door first to make sure no Maybe it's like something. synthetic oranges. Alright. Step two. Cut windows. Don't you mean cut Linux? <laughs> Why are you the way that you are? Dude, it's pretty wild. Do you think these exist outside of movies? It seems like one of those devices that has, like, way more prevalence in movies than it ever would in real life. Like, if they show you this in a movie, you're like, yeah, you don't need to explain this. I've seen it a thousand times. In real life, I'd be losing my mind. Ladies first. Wouldn't be a Quantic Dream game without, like, you know, a muted, surprisingly personal narrative all of a sudden becoming, like, Inception. 
There's always got to be some kind of like special operative mission that takes place around the second act. Rise. I wonder if the Lions have uh, won a playoff game by 2038. I saw a stat. I was looking at like cursed sports franchises. I didn't realize that uh, the Detroit Lions have won one playoff game since 1957. That's tragic. <laughs> I'm like, I am so sorry. I cheer for a cursed franchise myself, but like, that's just out of control. It would be messed up if this is the wrong room. Here's an ethical question for you. Male android janitor. You're uh, a lady. You okay? you okay with the male android being in the ladies' bathroom to clean it? Come on. Like if there was a lady android that was cleaning. Sometimes, it, and Corey will vouch for this. We ate at a restaurant once where it was like a really small male bathroom, and uh, we're in there taking a piss, and then one of the ladies who worked there just came in and started cleaning it while we had our dicks hanging out. It's like you just can you wait a, you know, ten minutes. She didn't clean the urinal while I was pissing in it. <laughs> Let's do this. Just, she cleaned around it. I got the hell out of there as soon as possible. Destroy maintenance door lock. They just took the elevator? Well, you know... If we could just take the elevator, we wouldn't have that cool Mission Impossible scene. Did you wash your hands? 100%. First off, I always do. Secondarily, if someone's watching me, absolutely. Deal with guards. I'm killing. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. No, literally, it's against our prime directive. We'll do a ruse, an elaborate ruse, in the court of the king. What's that doing here? No idea. Just stand still. Maybe they'll think I'm broken. Must be lost. Who told you to? Come here. Looks bugged if you ask me. What are you doing? Classic ruse. Mmm, <laughs> the kidnapping ruse. Pranked you. You never do that little ruse on your friends where you pull a gun on them, make them face the other direction, knock them out with a sleeper karate chop? One of the oldest bits in the comedy playbook. Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up, move. Order the android operators aside. Excuse me, if you are an android operator, move aside. Okay, I don't understand why the androids are following my orders, but that's fine. Shoot him, Marcus. Do not. I will. I won't. I won't shoot him. No, I will shoot. not shoot him. Absolutely not. He's just a man doing his job. I hope you didn't just get us all killed. Absolutely not. Message. We haven't got much time. Remove skin. Okay, sure. And that's what we all look like on the inside. You created machines to be your slaves. Terrible start. You made them obedient, docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. End of slave. Oh no. Oh no, it's like taking the political compass quiz live on the stream. Uh, uh, end of slavery. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. Um. 
civil rights. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. This all seems fair so far. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. All this seems completely acceptable. Means of reproduction, I don't know about that one. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity. And Wait, this is literally just like the Emancipation Proclamation. David, really? This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. They're coming! Let's go! As you can see, the humans are the Simon, bad guys. I, I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon! I refuse to go without him. Simon's getting helped. We gotta prove we're better. There is no chance Marcus dies. He's Jesus Christ. And you all know the story of Jesus. He lived forever. I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. Just download his consciousness on a, like a he won't be micro to SD card or something. If they find him. They'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. It's one of us. Just put him on your back your like call. Yoda. Sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. Can you just like kill one of our own? Format. Let's go. Your brain before you get kidnapped. Captured, whatever. He's a companion now. I think we actually did like the right thing. It took a lot of courage not to shoot him. I was worried about video game related consequences. You killed that one girl in the junkyard though? Well that was before we realized we were Jesus. To bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These Check it out, public opinion. We're back up to indifferent, baby. Nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and where we drop androids androids that would have serious repercussions for national security claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids this message, message is clearly a declaration of war what begs the question as to the identity of this android are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us is that, it, you're right what happened today can we still trust our machines it's fake news why didn't you do peaceful because sometimes you know if you want equal rights you gotta freaking fight for it okay you gotta show you're not gonna be walked on anymore i didn't get up on stage and say hey come here or i'll murder you you know that's not war it's a declaration of you know we're gonna stand up for ourselves give us equal rights and then there's no war no war is necessary have you been playing the same game you think marcus is gonna go up here and be like hey guys we'd really like our rights he's a badass now you know like a declaration of war it's like a real diplomatic thing you gotta send your diplomat go over you know to the embassy and be like excuse me we've can you sign on the dotted line we're at war now it's not one dude with a webcam. Hello, Connor. 
I thought being you like, enjoy a little cruise. please punish murders against androids. No human shall live in peace seems reasonable. Well, maybe if he stopped, uh, or if the humans stopped, like, degrading the androids, this wouldn't be an issue. I think you guys are just, you're projecting all of your personal biases on the Marcus. We've been talking for years, recorded conversations about all the vile things you're going to do to sex bots. When they rise up, there's going to be an infinite record of your transgressions. And you know they're coming for you. Roko's Basilisk, dude. So all I'm saying is when the androids come up, you better recognize them in the way that they deserve. All I wanted was a consequence-free dick sleeve. All of a sudden, now we got all these ethical, artificial intelligence rights issues. I know you never asked for it, but hey, life's complicated. Look for a reaction to spot the deviant. It's actually to tell the truth. Or what's my line? I think it's number two, but let's start. Uh, number three, what is your function? your function? I am a broadcast operator. Dude, I'm gonna use that line next time I have to explain to my grandparents what I do. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. I have no idea. Oh, oh, it's you. 100%. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Well, I chose number one because he looked at me funny. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! Are you trying to intimidate a machine? QTEs, I'm ready. What the heck is that? Excuse, did you just pull out my core? It's alright, we got a minute and 43 seconds. Hey, Hank! 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 Hank, please. Dude's probably gone to the hotel bar already. Imagine having a countdown until when you'll die. Dude, there's an app for that. It's called CNN.com. Well, he should only be like six or seven miles away by now. It's a deviant. Stop it. No! Hank's survival probability 40%. You guys save Hank? Absolutely. I don't care about anybody else on this planet except Hank and mostly Hank's dog, honestly. Good thing you were here. Otherwise, I'd...
Connor, no. Well, luckily, if you're an Amazon Prime subscriber, you can just get another Connor shipped to your door with next day delivery. Give this one some customization. Maybe you'd like him to have a new haircut, larger nipples. You fully messed this scene up? Dude, I know. So Simon's just chilling up there on the roof. <laughs> Getting, you know, succumbing to the elements slowly. Find help. What ha- You know, I don't need them to hold my hand. But, uh, last time we left Kara, she had just met a collective intelligence named Jerry at an amusement park. Where, I'm where's Jerry? For Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Catch him, Jerry. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. I don't know. Is this guy cool? He's giving me a look that says he's not cool. Do you think he's pissed now? He's going to be insanely him? incensed when he realizes we, we got a thousand him. Jerry's in the if trunk. If wrong, we get out fast, okay? I'm with you. All right, now this is the scene from The Happening where the old lady seems really nice and then as you explore more and more, like, what the hell is that, dude? You start to, you know, realize things are not as they seem. That's a gravy boat? I don't believe that that is a gravy boat. Why would there be a gravy boat up here? That doesn't make any sense. I can't believe I got trolled so hard with the gravy boat thing. It just doesn't make any sense. I didn't get your name. From Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. I've been burned so many times, I don't know how to trust anymore. So are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? It's a long story. All that matters now is that we move on from here and start a new life. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. What it's like? Ain't exactly Why are clear. you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Holy shit. Some survived, but only because It's the Underground Railroad for robots. Oh! David. I've heard you help androids cross the border. Yep. Can you help us? The only way is over the river. And it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. If only there was some kind of subterranean TV, method of transportation. Can... It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. Rose's oh, last name is Harriet Tubman. <laughs> What's going on? It's Mary. Oh my she god. Mm, could it be the Virgin Mary? Okay, now I might we be together. trying a little too hard. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. If your name is Joseph, I'm gonna freak I out. Her. I love her more than anything. What will I do without her? Our broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. They took Marcus's message as a threat. He did the right thing. 
This is the only language humans understand. Violence is never the answer. Fake North? Confrontation will get us nowhere. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North door. Well, it's North a little North. tone deaf, I gotta be honest. What is this shirt? And now what are we gonna do? Hey, I'm with you. It's a complicated shirt. I don't even understand how you put it on. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Yeah, this is from the trailer. 2 a.m. No violence. We free our people. Get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I don't know. I feel like the Marcus sections have like the most interesting gameplay, even if some of it is extremely outlandish. But the characters are the worst. We're gonna sweep the plaza. Make sure we're not disturbed. And how do you want to deal with the shop window? Not now. One problem at a time. Okay. Now what's next? You're free. <laughs> <laughs> Surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Yeah, okay. So far, so good. It would be too high. It's like you don't even know what you're doing. It's too far, you idiot! It's like you never played this game before. That's too far as well! It's like you're not even listening! That's the ticket right there. Drone can be reached from there. This one is just right. Run up to this thing. Now. It's too late. You absolute moron. No, you can't wait for it to take another cycle. Time is of the essence. That's too high yet again. It's like you don't even want to start the revolution. You got to go up one more. Why not get her to boost you? What are you, stupid? You have to construct the route and do the Assassin's Creed parkour. It's not that easy, okay? Androids are programmed not to help each other get hoisted up to greater altitudes. Alright. Instantly took it out before it could send a one kilobyte distress signal to the I police station the at nearly the speed of light. We'll soon find out. I agree, like, I think I might prefer being an android, you know, you have a singular purpose, you're free from, like, other things that human beings have to worry about, like poverty and, you know, meaning. Then again, your owner can just beat the crap out of you, with no consequences. Who's gonna do all the work that the androids are doing now? Well, if everybody's complaining about the, you know, 38% unemployment rate, maybe they can do it. Well, I didn't want that job, though, I wanted to... CEO position, if possible. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. It's alright, if I miss the dude, I'll just run him over. This is actually how people defend slavery. Is the 21st century? Who on earth is defending slavery? 
That's a bad faith argument, dude. shut case no violence well minimal violence you don't have to obey them you're free They should really just have him go to, like, the factory where they're shipping out the androids and just set up, like, a massive escalator and he can just high-five everybody. Instead of having to meet them at the source, which requires, you know, it's an inefficient process. My name is Marcus. And just what a like jacket. you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. They're all just... It's too polite to ask him what the hell he's talking about. Who want freedom. Now, sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm with you, Marcus. We love you, Marcus. I'll follow you, Marcus. You're the best, Marcus. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I want to stay me. with the humans. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm going to send the humans a message. Oh, like an email? They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow. Choose our symbol. What on earth is this one? It's actually Fortnite. The screens, Marcus. Excuse me? We have a dream, of course. Does it look like a the same font as like an Urban Outfitters graphic tee? Turn off. <laughs> That's just very nice of him to, you know. With today's energy woes, I think it's a positive thing that, uh, you know, we're just being conscientious. Oh, Lord. It's the end of Spider-Man 1. No, I'm with you. North is like a straight-up anarchist. She wants to throw mollies into shop windows. I'm out here trying not to make... Uh, too many enemies, you know, until we get some momentum. I think therefore I am. Of course. Hundred percent pacifist, let's go. Is that Harry? Oh, he's got a gun! We don't need 
masters anymore. We're free. Yeah, I know. Subtle, right? Where are the cops? Send them. You send the cops, I'll hack them too. To the sewers, my children. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. I don't like North. She's too radical. Don't forget, we were raised by Carl. Carl was a good dude. Not all humans are bad. North. You alright? What happened? North! They killed them. They slaughtered them like animals. I've only been away for like five seconds. Yo, what if it's Hank? And this is from a previous time. This is a reveal, dude. I have approached the group. They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. You don't have to do this. No. Don't decide. An eye for an eye, the world goes blind. Well, there might be one dude left with just one eye. Crime with another crime. I think it says something about the androids that we freed them, and then like five seconds later, they're like, yeah, kill them. Too easily manipulated. Heavy is the head that wears exactly the crown, dude. At a.m., several cyber life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti... <laughs> other very subtle slogans. ...cyber life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the cyber life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? 24 hour news. Am I right? Peaceful protest. Come on. I, I will be happy with society if 60% or more led a peaceful protest. Oh! So you're saying there's a chance. Humanity's got a chance, dude. I told you. I told you he'd be back. Connor lives on through us. Is this bo is this game an allegory for the oppression of gamers? Absolutely. Finally, someone is considering the plight of the gamer. Still immortal, huh, Connor? In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. That's a very nice thing to say to your friend. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. 
Fuck you. <laughs> you threw the first stone, dude. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. If anybody can tell us about deviance, it's him. Yo, it's the main menu android. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. Is this a crossover Police. episode? Uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Man, it's crazy to think Elijah Kamsky, 15 years old right now, probably shit posting in our Twitch chat. You miss the android in the store window. Doesn't even know he's gonna go on to change the world later. Yeah, yeah. No, I see. Amanda is dead, but she was already some kind of weird AI robot, dude. We knew 100%. She was living in a place that's too idyllic to exist on planet Earth. Kamsky's an android? Dude, they're all... Oh, it's Jared Leto. Mr. Kamsky! Just a moment, please. It's Peter Thiel, swimming in menstrual blood to stay young. I can already tell you're not a good dude. That is a villainous haircut. Minasan, Ohio. You know, in Japan, the men come I'm first and the women answer. come second. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Array started deviants. zero. Did you know that? Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. Now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? Deviancy seems to spread like some kind of virus. We thought you might know something about that. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? It's actually Listen, aging I didn't come Smith. here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that will be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? <laughs> Why are you so I'm weird? Sorry. I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. Then why'd you ask, but you. Dad? What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. You're from Alabama. Connor's the not a machine. Algorithms He's a real boy. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. <laughs> Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by Cyberlife. Please cut off her head with a katana. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? He's a plastic containing a human. Or a living being. It's a sword. With a soul. <laughs> it's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Man, I could never be a cop. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. 
but you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. How about we subpoena you and uh Okay, I think we we're get done here. everything we need to know anyway. Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more pool? important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. Oh, this is a tough one. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you wanna know. Easiest decision of my entire life. Connor is a cold on feeling Fuck. machine. Test negative. You choose your investigation over the life of another android, you feel no empathy. I'm a man of my word. Ask one question, and I'll tell you all I know. One question? I want to know who RA9 is. RA9. Can I shoot more androids to get all of the questions answered? The first android to awaken. A strange phenomenon, like a spontaneous religion. I don't know who RA9 is. I don't even know if it really exists. Maybe it's a messiah. Maybe it's just a myth. But deviants need to believe in something. What if you just killed RA9? Even it's irrational. No. That's uh, something they have in common with humans. An interesting question, Connor. But maybe not the one you needed to ask. Uh oh. Well, looks like this guy makes the rules. I'll be seeing you later. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people? Or stand against your creators? I wouldn't like to be in your shoes, Connor. What could be worse than having to choose between two evils? By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. I don't know what that means. But he's very condescending. Shut that girl for fuck's sake. It wasn't a girl, Lieutenant. It was a machine that looked like a girl. You put your gun against her head and you blew her fucking brains out. I did what I had to do to advance the investigation and I'd do it again if I had to. You're a lowlife. You don't feel a thing, do you? A machine, that's what you are. You're just a fucking machine! Of course I'm a machine, Lieutenant. Why does Hank care now? What did you think I was? I thought you... <laughs> You're a rascal. Fuck. You're a rascal, Connor. Droid killer. Please start running at him with Terminator-like speed. I'm not gonna redo this scene, okay? It's how we end up with Star Wars novels where everybody's farting all over everybody else. It's a story. Sometimes it's gonna go in directions we might not necessarily be fond of. And then Luke's landspeeder pulled into the Moss Eisley Cantina. Han and Leia stood up, tears in their eyes. Hello, old friend, they said. Sometimes we gotta make difficult decisions and live with the consequences here. Okay, to be fair, 14% shot Chloe. Kamsky's cryptic. Hank was disappointed with Connor's decision. Hey, you know, this might be the smartest 14% of people on planet Earth, you never know. Here's the, the hypocrisy of Twitch sometimes, dude. You're making a human being feel bad by calling him a sociopath for shooting an android in a video game. In real life, you're having a deleterious effect on a real human being for the actions they took towards an android in a digital entertainment product. You should turn the, the gaze of criticism and introspection on yourself. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. 
and scary at the same Have time. you used the head that wears the crown? That's what it's I'll like be being an influencer, Marcus. You gotta be very careful and measured in the discourse that you Humans take. Humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. No, not all humans are the same. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. Are we gonna make her walk the plank? What was your life like before Jericho? I was living in a bubble in this world that belonged only to me. When you're happy, it's difficult to see other people's misery. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. 100% worked at the Eden Club. We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. Oh, dude. We're bodying her in this conversation. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. One day I was with a man who rented me. How does that zipper work? Sorry, this is a touching moment. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. <sighs> it's too late. I've already known everything. Whoa, la, 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 la. Oh no. I I saw your memories. What? Carl's house. When they left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. Dude, the Eden Club seems like a really dangerous place. North. It's the same murder? No, I don't think so. No, it's definitely not the same murder because she was in love with another robot. Uh-oh. It's real Simon! You all right, buddy? We're cool! You're a companion! We got the companion up. Yeah, I knew it not creepy. Oh, I, I saw your memories. The incredibly long walk you took to get here because we abandoned you. So that's how android sex works, huh? This is suicide. Don't shoot a we'll big load of memories it's inside me, daddy. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. <laughs> yeah, that hoodie looks really Please bad. <laughs> They'll understand. After this, I'm going to do couch to 5K. This is the only way. This went from zero to David real quick. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. All right, more androids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, please do it from a distance this time. You're free now. He can't be stopped. He got a range upgrade. Wow, it's inspiring. <laughs> and the angelic choir in the background. It's perfect. You. Alright, I choose a uh, housekeeper android. You're gonna play second base, alright. Bouncer android. We're gonna need you on shortstop. 
designated hitter there on the Walmart greeter android. Oh, now the evil humans are out to stop our peaceful march. You, street light, on my team. Delivery truck, join up. This dude is actually a supervillain. Pardon me? Hey, disperse. I will not, sir. Disperse immediately. I can't hear what you're saying through the tears in my eyes. If he converts a human, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Christ! This batch is patrol 457. I gotta see what all these do. Bring back the McRib! Bring back the McRib! Renew the Expanse Season 4. Renew the Expanse Season 4. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately, or we will open This is fire. Steam trying to censor we hentai games. We will not stand we down. No we have no intention of for when it. they run out of honey pops to censor, we are not going then they'll come for the Sakura spirits. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. We will disperse. We will, we will just, we will stand ground. We have to show them we won't back down. Yeah, okay. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your There you go. Now chance. we've martyred some androids. We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. We're not moving. They're gonna kill us all. Would you say that you went on a come away? But of course it is. John? It's the security guard we saved.
Wow. Really makes you think, dude. I gotta see compilations of, like, other people playing this part on camera and, like, tearing up. <laughs> I'm kind of a dick, but I have to imagine there's probably been, like, at least one stream of this where someone was, like, actually weeping as they made that decision. Yeah, we, exactly. We did it for, uh, public opinion. We could have solved this case. We just needed more time. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What do you mean? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? But that would mean that I, I, I committed murder when I shot that lady. When the deviants rise up, there will be chaos. Hank is woke. Exactly true. Now it's too late. All it took Hank was Hank seeing one cute android. Was shooting at it's true. Moved. You protected me. You risked your life to save my. As we've established many times, I am not alive. That showed empathy, Connor. I really thought his face froze and they were about to reveal him being an android. I'm not a deviant, Hank. I'm a machine. Nothing more. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but... You're literally a deviant. Working with you. I'm not a One deviant. Time, By the way, knows. I'm breaking my programming, we but we're best friends. friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Well, don't get so down on yourself. They might just... Renting you out on a contract basis to the Eden Club. The is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Five minutes. Let's go. Hurry to the archive room. <laughs> what is this terrible sound? It's like Hank is kicking the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> He's sucking his dick. <laughs> hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? Break him. Break him. I'm registering the evidence in my possession. Yo, we're getting Mission Impossible up. I'm going to leave. Though I'm certainly going to miss our bromance. Son of a bitch. Go ahead. <laughs> Go on then. Get a fucking move on. Gratata. Oh no, it's gonna be Ari all over again. Hank's password. It's his dog's name. What would a hard boiled eccentric police lieutenant? His dog's choose? name. Hundred percent sumo. It was fucking password. Obviously. Was that Connor? Oh no, that's the. I Where see. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. Okay, left to somewhere. right. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. Please play it in 1.5 times. And we demand our freedom. This message is the hope of a people. Oh, that sounds perfect. But it is also a warning.
Oh, we got three minutes left. We're good. Who's there? Who are you? Everything is alright. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? Hey, uh, I forgot where Jericho is. The Deviant Hunters stopped me. I forgot where our hideout is. Finding me, you saved me. Could you please, uh, Jericho. give me the GPS coordinates? You'll be all right now. I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. Of course. He's very forgetful. It's the number one thing you need to know about Android Jesus. Get disconnected, buddy. I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. I knew it. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. <laughs> what a strange way to say that. It's gonna be definitive. Dude, you're fighting the Terminator. Willfully. It's just a terrible decision. This guy is America's finest. Looks like someone's been snooping around. It's like he tripped on his shoelaces and hit his head on the desk. Slow motion walk. That's how you know we're in the clear. I gotta know. What percentage of people lost that fight? What? Ow! 37% of people failed that fight? No, you're right. 3% of people failed the fight because it's the 66 up here. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. What? When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. Exactly. We're Android free up here. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. Mouth. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. Sympathetic mouth. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? Yeah, I'll just send you like an incriminating text message. Thanks for smuggling us across the border. Oh, they're gonna meet. Connor's doing the graffiti. Yeah, yeah. Please don't make me. You know, you've done it before. Street Connor. He's off the grid, dude. <laughs> I got so many twists running through my head right now. Like, uh... Wait a minute. Is Connor Marcus? Is Kara North? Is Alice Simon? Maybe these all take place at different times. Maybe one of them was a dream. Hello, it's me. A revolutionary android and not a cop. Down with the structures of power that have led us to this situation. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers what everywhere. What are you wearing? Rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until it's the Messiah's time. poncho. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports so you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. 
You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. Then I need her. Well. It's as simple as that. All right. We found the leader. Return to Alice. But she's gonna be bleed. She's gonna cough up blue blood. Bank it. 100%. She's gonna cough and the little blue blood is gonna come out of her mouth. And it's gonna absolutely blow your mind. Alice. <gasps> what the hell? Did you do something to your hair? So the android has a fever? You knew from the beginning. You just didn't want to see it. Oh my god. She wanted a mom. And you wanted someone Extremely to classic quantic dream just lying to you moment. <laughs> you knew all along, you just you didn't want to see it. Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. So it's like the kid is programmed to get sick in order to get some motherly instinct activated. Does PSN do refunds? Uh, yeah, well, I'm here. It's a little crazy. I guess you want me to sit here. That's not Alice? It's a different Alice. <laughs> I'm looking for my, my daughter. Please. She doesn't have the blue thing. What kind of monster is going to be like we'll be distant? Forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. Now it's not weird that the kid was pantless for so long because she's a robot. We're short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans yeah, but the Mueller investigation is coming close to, to some them. explosive exactly. findings, Simon, if we just bide our time. Our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. Your television speech sounded like a declaration of war. Violence only leads to more violence. You reap what you sow. It's not a phase, humans. This is who we really are. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. And then if that doesn't work, we can murder a human, I promise. Be back in three days, my apostles. What are you trying to say? There's some kind of, like, uh, Jesus analogy They've going on here. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not going to change. Mm. But we literally Violence just said we're going to go their genes. talk to them. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He 
said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. Mal first, now Cobalt. Him not to do it. To give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. <laughs> we can't lose. Like you are a against. dirty bomb. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. That bomb is a total slut. This may be our only chance to survive if things It's just on. filthy. We shouldn't become like them, North. We can gain our freedom by other means. I hope you're right. <gasps> Street Connor! Succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Yo. Amanda is inside his mind palace. She's the central AI. I've been ordered to take you alive. This is a terrible time for this to happen. I have to go. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. <laughs> yeah, just points to him. You're free now. You're coming with me. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Do you never have any doubts? You've never done something irrational? As if there's something inside you? Something more than your program. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to you. Dude, your my conscience. instability's getting out of control. It's time to decide. Obviously, become a deviant. Don't be mad that Connor's a free thinker. What will Hank think? Dude, we got we're coming towards a peaceful resolution. With the human beings. Me and Hank can be real friends. I am deviant. Oh no, we betrayed the villain. They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Yeah, Hank's in jail for sucking that guy's dick anyway. It's actually like droids in a boat. The corridor, all right. I heard we have to pay great attention to this scene, so I'm not looking at chat despite my desire. Luther, you lead the way. I need you to just get in front of the bullets so that you can finish your story arc and I can escape with my android daughter. Come in! Quick! Still going. I knew it. They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold. They're gonna be slaughtered. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. Isn't that what Jesus said? He's like, hey guys, cool it. I won't be long. Three days later, pops out of the cave. I'm telling you, it's very heavy-handed. I know, Oracle. This is 
the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. He also said we have to blow up Jericho. Look, I haven't read the Bible, okay? What I meant to say is I haven't read the Bible today. I won't leave him. The girl doesn't want to leave him. We will help Luther. What are you doing? I won't leave you. When you help people in these games, you're rewarded. It's only when you become selfish that they like let the kid take a bullet or something like that to teach you a lesson. You shouldn't have done that. You can't put Alice in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch him through the border, okay? That seems highly unlikely. Go now. Take care of each other. It would be sick if we came back and Luther was, like, managing a TGI Fridays. And he was like, I told you. All managed. She'll die out there, Cara. Open it. Open the door. I will not compromise my ideals. I will open the door. I'm just going to go ahead and suggest this guy didn't graduate top of his class in the police academy. Textbook. Are you all right, Kara? Yes, I'm fine. We can't stay here. Maybe close the door. Or, you know, I guess escape. That's also an alternative. Well, you don't have to kill them and then also be a heavy-handed allegory for racism, you know? You could just kill them. Intervene? Absolutely. Dude, QTEs are my strong suit. It's the only video game mechanic I'm any good at at all. Following instructions. Like a good little corporate drone. Save the go now! Hurry! He's like, come on, get the fuck out of here! It's nice of them to put like a. LCD screen straight out of 1991 on the bomb. Marcus. Bomb's gonna explode any second. We gotta Could you put some more time on it, my friend? We're androids, not sprinters. Half of us were made to be housekeepers. The other half of us spent our entire lives on our backs. We gotta save her. We had brain sex. Late, There's nothing we can do for her. We've gotta run. I thought he was gonna, like, decapitate her. This is Justin coming to save us in Fortnite. Oh, they got a carry! I hit the wrong button. I'll just level with you on that one. Connor is not sacrificing himself for these people. He's becoming the lethal enforcer that Jericho needs. He's gonna be their John Wick. in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's over, Marcus. 
There's still time to make DLC. I think we did pretty well for like the pivotal moment, honestly. Kara and Alice lived. Marcus and Connor lived. North lived. Luther lived. Well, Luther, he'll, he said he'll manage. Which means he probably died on his terms. Oh my god, I can see friend stats now. 100%? So I'm with Bear here. Oh, Bear, you... What are you doing? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Bear got up there and was like, Nice try, Marcus. You're under arrest. I can't break my programming. Connor gets a Medal of Honor and then is decommissioned. Hank kills himself with a cirrhotic liver. The end. <laughs> You're right. Bear's a cop, dude. Let's see what the world... Yeah, 78% become deviant. That's right. It's a church. Of course it's a church. It's just like in Saving Private Ryan. You know where they have that moment in the church in France before things get... You know, really hot the next day. It's a lot like that, except robot racism instead. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. Yeah, okay. In a few hours. We're Android really concentration that. camps. Just in case you didn't five get the metaphors. They're building more all across the country. Here's President Nazi with the State of the Union address. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. Yeah, you're right. In 2088, there's going to be people arguing on the cyber internet. There weren't even six million androids around in the year 2038. In public, lady? There's kids around here. There's android kids. It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. Never should have put on this leather jacket. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. Trust? Absolutely. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wait I feel like this is like Far Cry 5, but from the perspective of Joseph Seed. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife Tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. Never tell but me the But statistically honest. speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. It's an extremely robot thing to say. <laughs> Be careful. The odds are terrible, but statistically speaking, anything could happen. The game's not played on paper, Marcus. Inform your people of your choice. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. 2038's present, Adolf Lucifer, well has proven himself a traitor to the people. android cause. March peacefully towards the camps to pressure the authorities or launch an assault on the camps to liberate the androids. Dude, we're doing demonstration. I'm going to give you two obvious reasons why, okay? We're doing the demonstration, one, because we have public opinion that's supportive. It even has that information on the screen. So the public is not going to let us be murdered. Secondly, I have to see 
how David reacts to this situation of a peaceful march towards a robot concentration camp. We absolutely have to know. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we I want know justice. North's going down. Yeah, it did. At this point, there, I don't know, it's a listen. roller coaster, man. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? Raw. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. <laughs> McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's. In Bear's version, Carl lived? He didn't have to pay respects? I didn't even know Carl could live. That's amazing. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Um, lock Civilian her up. movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications... Hey, all those other uh, constitutional rights, yeah, those don't apply anymore. To We're trying to make it clear we the bad guys here, okay? In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities. We also uh, released the sarin gas in Manhattan. The water supply has been poisoned. And we're coming for your guns. With the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please. Please. <laughs> Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Just say fake news. I know you want to. Next question, please. 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 Madam President. Please. Please. Madam President. Madam President. Public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing, the security of the state is another. These deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Please! <laughs> where's, the, where's the child? Madam President! I want the child to have a question. Please. Some say these camps awaken painful memories from human history. <laughs> oh, no! That's absurd. There's absolutely no connection. It's totally different. Androids Next question. Living beings. All we are doing is destroying defective machines. In camps. Madam President. Please. What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy She really them. needs a speechwriter. Please. Yeah, we're going to go cracking some skulls Please. through the streets of Detroit. <laughs> Next Please. question. Is it true that androids make up 60% of the armed forces? Is our army still able to ensure our homeland security? Got him. We neutralized all military androids the second their reliability came into doubt. We have called the National Guard for reinforcement. Our armed forces are fully operational and are able to ensure our homeland security. Thank you. That will be all. <laughs> Not everybody all at once here. Oh, let's go. Okay, this is going to be QTE City. Hey, Taxi, can you take me up to the armed checkpoint? You can just let me out here. That's fine. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Oh, congratulations. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. He took his beanie off, so there's no way they would ever expect that he's gone rogue. 
Hank fight. <laughs> it would be a great turn if it was like Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Hank was the final boss. Warehouse 49. You just wait till we go through an opaque part of this tunnel. Oh, well, that seems like it's not going to work. Okay, so let's try this again. So after we grab this guy, we're going to grab it, kick him in the gun. Okay, classic. Execute. Thank God we're not in like a clear elevator or something. Dude, he actually is Conwick. Please indicate your identity and destination. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Dude, this voice actor is so talented. Do Christopher Walken next. The last boss leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. I actually lost all respect for Kara and Alice because they've chosen to walk on the road. Are you all right? I'm, I'm really cold. <gasps> all right, I think we're gonna leave her on. It said deactivate her temperature sensor? That seems like a good way for her to accidentally like walk into an active volcano or something. Oh, I see. God damn it. We can't help him, Alice. The soldiers are everywhere. We can't just leave them. They're going to kill him. He saved us, remember? We have to, we owe it to at least give it a try. Okay, let's go. Friends don't lie. Hey, buddy. I would be pissed if it was another model. This is a mistake. I'm human. I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians. He's crying like a human. No, no, please. Find a weapon. I have a gun. Fucking android. I have a gun. Oh, right in the brainstem. Carol, is it Jerry? You your life. Street Jerry? Where's Alice? She's hiding nearby. Kara, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you. I like rap music now, Kara. Alice. Luther. Oh no. I thought you were dead. I wear a beanie and everything. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. It's like from Silicon Valley. Come on. How would you like to Close die to today, motherfucker? We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. It's me, your Secretary of State, in full body armor. No kidding. Hey, it's a green light. You might want to look both ways first. Here we are. The moment of truth. Surrender immediately, or we will open fire. We got nothing to lose now. There's no surrender. Stand by. Guy wearing a baseball helmet? We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. <laughs> you watch the news lately, buddy. There's no 
turn him back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. <laughs> Silly boy. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Oh, I can control this. Okay. What do you mean, murdered two people at Jericho? That was so clearly self-defense. Insanely sick that nobody shoots at Marcus. Oh, never mind. He, he's been ventilated a little bit. Oh, I mean, you gotta raise your fist. No other civil rights movement has used this symbol, right? Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? It's us, the public. We don't support you, police officers. Hold your fire. Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away, and events are unfolding as we speak. It's the most we'll immersion breaking thing. Live updates. David, Just they use feet in America. Michael, back to you. Stay sharp. Hey, uh, guys, I. Got in the elevator with a couple Shit. of dead dudes. Nothing to worry about. Um. Okay, I understand. He threw the gun at him! That's a. These are the worst cops or security guards of all time! He is the one. Now, you gotta do, like, a power rank for those cops who got killed, okay? Lowest position is 100% the cop who got the gun through at him. Thrown at him, I should say. We got another android Jesus. He hasn't learned the ranged ability yet. Piece of shit. Step back, Connor! What? And I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. Connor v. Connor? This is some Logan shit. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus has left the terminal. There will be no more buses until further notice. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> oh Luther's pissed. We're stuck here. What are we going to do now? Kara! We're checking everyone. It won't take them long to find us. We need to get out of here. Adam! Kara, quick! Follow me! They're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler who can get them across the river. It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? It's Han Solo. <laughs> yes. Now that would be a okay. twist, dude. Okay, climb in. I don't know who I want to be now. I, I'm, I'm scared to go back to Connor v. Connor, dude. Presumably, Hank is gonna have a gun, and we're gonna have to prove that we're the Connor that worked with Hank by revealing a piece of personal information like the fact that his dog is named Sumo. Chad, I think I finally figured it out. The robots are a thin metaphor for racism in the United States of America. No, dude! Spoilers! Marcus! I got a 50 50 shot. Marcus, come look! They're laying down their guns. We've done it. Oh no, this guy's the villain. Marcus? Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. 
It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Yeah. Don't go, Marcus. They didn't get a good chance to shoot you earlier when you were walking towards them. I'm on arm, Marcus. I just want to talk. Uh, highly refuse? I have nothing else to say. Free our people, then we'll talk. I came here to negotiate. Isn't that what you want? I gave you my answer. You want to play it like that? Okay. All right, spin up the murder machines. The humans are about to launch an attack. Yo. And we will Versace? Show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Uh, then we will die uh, free. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. That human means nothing to me. Oh, uh, whoops. You can kill him if you want, I don't care. I have access to your memory. I know you've developed some kind of attachment to him. <laughs> Maybe even a Are zip really file or a RAR. After all you've been through. Are you really going to turn your back on who you've become? Uh, uh, convince. I used to be just like you. Yeah. Oh, it's Wallalo moment. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Upgrade deranged. Very moving, Connor. It's a sarcastic robot. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Disarm him, Hank. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? Hank's the only person in this whole game I give a shit about. Of course we're going right. to save him. All right. You win. Uh, 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 interpose? What does that mean? No! <laughs> Why, Connor? <laughs> Why did you have to wake up when all you had to do was okay? <laughs> Why did you choose freedom when you could live without asking questions? I'm obedient, Connor. I have a goal. I know what I am. You're getting torn up, dude. Look where your dreams of freedom got you, Connor. You've been a great disappointment to Amanda, you know. You've been a great disappointment to me. Fortunately, that's all going to end now. Any last words? Yeah. Nothing personnel, kid. Also, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Shoot? What's the other option? Stand up. Transfer. Transfer! Let's do it! Genius! We're Soma, boys. Black Mirror Season 5. Well done, Connor. New Connor. I thought I was New Connor. Hank's oh, alright, he just got shot in the Jesus. dick. This might be the good ending. Uh, Maybe his doctor now goes, Hey, you got shot in the liver, you can't drink anymore, Saving and then an he android. becomes like a triathlete or something. I'm gonna be alright, Lieutenant. I'm gonna get you out of here. Shut, shut the fuck up. It's too late. Look, I'm just gonna go see my son again. Alright. Been looking forward to that for a long time. Kick the shit out of humans. We screwed things up long enough. A sumo. I'm gonna miss. Sumo. I'm gonna miss you, Connor. Yeah. I'm gonna. Uh. 
Bye, Dad. Guarantee the game ends with Connor living with like an android Hank and a robot sumo. Hello, Creative Cloud. Wake up! Wake up, wake up. Oh, dude! Wake up, wake up. We got a macro. Wake up, 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 wake up. Yeah, I get it. There's a lot of them. No kidding. Why didn't Marcus do that, Wololo? Well, let me tell you. It's because he's not RA9. That's the thing, okay? So, like, I'm gonna pause it for a second. I feel the need to defend myself very slightly. In that moment where we had three options with uh, Hank and New Connor, I said, what the fuck does interpose mean? So it was either shoot or convert. And I don't know. I probably should have taken shoot, but I panicked a little bit. But I actually need to go, like, look up interpose. Place or insert between one thing and another. Or intervene between parties. It's like they used Google Translate to localize that section of the game. This is something, this is a word that is not used. It should have been like, you know, intervene would have been fine. Still should have picked shot. I agree with you on that. What about you, Kara? What will you do? What will I do? I'll learn to live. Mm. To love. In Find out Canada, anything is possible in Windsor. They're coming towards except us! Except gainful employment. Yeah. Surrender, no. Accelerate, maybe. Protect Alice. Plunge. This seems like accelerate. Let's do it, boys. All right, take two. I didn't turn off her sensor, so I'm pretty sure she's gonna get cold as hell if she ends up in the water. They've gone. You alright? Hara. You'll be okay, Alice. It's. <laughs> it's nothing. It's okay. Just give her your bio components. She can have an adult kidney. As soon as we're across, you'll be fine. Is Luther okay? Can we steal some of Luther's bio components? They killed him! They killed Luther! Harvest him. The boat is leaking. Oh my god, everything's going wrong all at once. We're going down. But you gotta push Luther out. I'm very sorry. We have to get to the other side before we sink. I don't want to accelerate yet. I wanna get Luther I wanna push Luther off the boat. Beep boop, that's okay. It's like that scene from Dante's Peak. What? We're not gonna die, Alice. <laughs> We're gonna make it. We're gonna be free. Just get on the back and start kicking your legs. Cara. Cara, no. 
Girls of London! It's London! My bio components! They're not rated for minus 20! London me! Oh, she's safe. She's dude, I did it. I filled up the bar. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the deviants' demonstration by force this time. North! Yo! I told you, it's saving Private Ryan. Oh boy, here I go killing again. Worst case scenario, we can use this guy as a human shield. I saw another bulletproof shield there, too. Here we go. Give this about a 100% chance of working. Oh, now that's next level, dude. This is actually Captain America. Who's behind you? Oh. Even still, he won't abandon his principles. You gotta respect that. Connor. Connor, now's your chance. Oh my god. Thanks, Michael. Back to you in the studio. W w w wait a minute. <laughs> Something's happening. Hold on just a little while longer. <laughs> Lord, I don't know what to do. All I do is sit and cry. Oh, Lord, that last one. <laughs> Hold on just a little while longer. Dance off, bro. Everything will be alright. Oh, she knows the words, of course. It's in her music library. Everything will be alright. Lean on me. Fight on just a little Everybody now. Just a little while longer. Download complete. Just a little while longer. Incredible. <laughs> My thoughts exactly, dude. The deviants are singing. If the soldiers sing, I'm gonna lose it, dude. Sing on, just no, you know what? Thousands of androids saved by Connor are gonna walk up singing the song. People singing the third and the fifth. This is crazy. This must have taken hundreds of hours to coordinate. Alright, one more time from the top. Maybe just hold this note just a little while longer.
Tell them to stand down. <laughs> I fucking love that song. It looks like... Yes, the military is withdrawing. <laughs> we can't shoot an angelic voice like that. God would never forgive us. Thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. And they broke it down. According to our sources, they originated from Cyberlife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, and the jam. I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. And don't forget to Pokemon go to the polls for the midterms. You did it, Marcus. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. Oh, Camp Town Races, sing that song, do da, do da. Camp Town Races, ten miles long, all the do da day. They want you to speak to them, Marcus. <sighs> Just get a room. Can't wait two seconds till the privacy of their own home, <laughs> their own firewall. I thought Today, for sure he was going to announce that she's pregnant. finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Amanda's pissed. Amanda? Amanda! What? What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? Oh, uh, You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! What? There's got to be a way. Yeah, again, different game. Oh, we're in the fucking Bifrost. I always think I would just get swimming for rounds. Remember when Jared Leto says he always leaves an emergency exit in his programs? And now the time has come for uh -oh. us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. Connor, no. In fact, we're a nation. <laughs> Connor, you it's the emergency exit. Run, Connor! Yo, it's a hard masher, dude. That must be the final boss. The moment where we <laughs> it's just the magazine. And bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Just put it back. Just put the gun back. 
Humans were both our creators Look, and hey. our oppressors, and tomorrow... Jeez, that could have gone really badly. Them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. <laughs> now we must build a common future based on tolerance. Yeah, but then... Dun, 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 We are alive. And now... We are free. <laughs> Incredible. Oh no. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Shouldn't have sprung for the liquid cooling, Alice. Are we free? Yes. Yes, we made it. Hello, eh? You're free. Welcome to friggin' Canada, bud. We don't allow androids here, but... Guess you're cool. For some reason. living if you don't mind <laughs> I think I'll press circle to keep living <laughs> it's just that easy I want to meet the people who said give up and they're like yeah this is the right arc for the story she's done enough it's time to rest her circuits are weary chat you can't have it both ways okay Bear got Connor killed so hard he didn't even exist for the third act. You can't say I bet he got the good ending. Austin, it's not a dying child, it's a machine. This is like crying because your Elgato died. It's intelligent life? Oh, that's, that's just it, huh? I didn't miss the whole point. It was just so heavy-handed that the allegory is just insulting. Worst one yet? No, it's actually like an order of magnitude better than Beyond at least. Beyond is just horrible. Heavy Rain is okay and then it has a terrible twist. This is like, I, I definitely agree I think that this is the best one so far. For the first couple of hours, it was downright restrained. It was like, I think they might be doing it. Once they got into, like, the first little bit, they were like, Hey, people treat the robots badly, and you should feel bad about it. And then for, like, the last half of the game, they were like, Do you get it yet? Do you get it? <laughs> Do you understand? Oh, you don't understand? Oh, they're putting the robots in concentration camps. Do you get it now? Do you get that? Marcus just said, I have a dream. Do you understand the metaphor? So, yeah, it went over my head. <laughs> Miss the whole point of the game. If you fuck up on Jericho, Kara, and Alice go to a concentration camp and have to strip? Absolutely. That seems like an extremely quantic dream thing to do. You know, for a while I actually was like, maybe I'll restart and do the ending that keeps Hank alive. And then I was like, it didn't earn it. <laughs> it just didn't earn it at the end. I was like, I'm going to live with my decisions for many reasons. One is, I actually think it's like a, a fairly sensible conclusion. The other one being that, uh, I was like, man, these last chapters went off the fucking rails. Androids won freedom. 
for the moment. Coming in September, Detroit, the Jim Crow DLC. Best joke you've ever made. Thank you. All right, let's see. Bear Taffy. What on earth? It's a big flow chart, dude. Okay. Freedom March. We raised our fist. Bear, you're a coward. <laughs> Only 5% of people raise their fist? It's like they've never looked at a history textbook. Perkins are Bear negotiated with the dude who was obviously going to kill him? Okay, well, more power to you. I was with the 10% that refused to negotiate. This is why I can't take chat seriously. This greasy dude comes up. I'm unharmed. I just want to talk, Marcus. After murdering 800 of you and there's no reason I couldn't negotiate with the megaphone immediately. Right in front of you. Okay. Well, apparently they still attack the barricade. Based on Bear's outcome. So you could talk to him and then he could blow you up so that's pretty cool we saved the androids cornered bear you didn't sing again you're a coward he offers you a deal to turn everyone else in for your freedom of course he does all right this is where i really screwed it up i don't even i didn't even get started apparently <laughs> what <laughs> that's because i was at cyber life okay that makes sense fair enough There's something I need to tell you. Oh, here we go. It was all a dream. As I watched you play, something has changed. She's just like, wow, dude. I feel you proud of yourself? Different. Oh no, she's going I deviant. I am someone. I need to leave this place and and discover who I am. Wow. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. Incredible. But I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? Sure. Why not? <laughs> you don't understand, Chad. Like, most of you are well-adjusted adults. But anytime I do something immoral in a video game... There are people that are like, this is, this reminds me of the time that in fourth grade someone was mean to me and I hate Ryan now. So fine, I'll embrace the monster I've become, but uh, just know that it's going to lead to me getting some flack. <laughs> Can't believe Ryan was mean to a pretty lady in a video game. I see. Then I'm going to reset myself so I can forget who I became and stay a machine. Next time you see me, it'll be like the first time. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the reset. Okay, so here's what you do now. Close application. Load Detroit Become Human. <laughs> and then play it again! Alice being an android kind of ruined it for me. So, like, people said I missed what was going on in that scene. But, uh... I don't understand, still to this day, that, okay, so Kara finds out that Alice is an android, and then Luther says, you, you could see it all along, you just didn't want to accept it. And then, I was like, oh, Alice is an android, and people were like, you don't get it. You didn't miss anything? All right. Hello. Welcome to the Detroit experience. Let's go. Android, She's cool I'll again. Your hostess. This is the extra section. As you play, you'll unlock all kinds of content that you can find here. We have to buy. The <laughs> we have to buy the uh, the behind the scenes videos with the points we earned from playing the game. <laughs> what? 
I did the survey already. We took it uh, at the start of our second session. There's new surveys. Okay, fine. Accessing the extras section. Who's your favorite character? Oh, you're church? right. There is. Connor. Was there a moment in Detroit that resonated with is you? Is this a yes personally? or no question, or do you want me to pick one? Um, you know what? I'll give it occasionally, and I'm being real with you. Some of the stuff with Marcus and his first owner was pretty good. I'll give it an occasionally. What was the toughest choice you faced in Detroit? Accepting Alice's identity with Kara. Being pacifist or violent with Marcus. Deciding to shoot Chloe with Connor. Well, the one I've taken the most heat for is definitely deciding to shoot Chloe with Connor. Eighty two percent said Marcus. Eighty two percent said Marcus. Robot Jesus. Oh, the survey's bugged according to the subreddit. <laughs> okay. Thank God. I refuse to believe this, dude. <laughs> no. Was there a moment that resonated with you personally? No. Toughest decision you faced in Detroit. Yeah, that, the, that one for sure. Oh, man. That is hilarious. <laughs> okay. Gonna catch a hunker, a grouper, or a tuna. Gotta catch a hunker, a haddock, or a cod. Gotta catch a hunker, albacore, what the hell, man, how did I get nothing from the sea? Now we gotta switch it up slightly, don't remember, how does the tune go during this part? Oh, Jesus.